All right, let's see if my sound's working. Perfect, everything's good. I don't know what the fuck just happened there, Chad. I think uh, I think somebody was trying to take out a Fed and they failed because I survived. Hmm. Um, okay. It looks I'll like we're back. back up and running, and uh, we'll see you shortly, Mike. Um, all right, well, I tried to answer the question, uh, but basically, long story short, Sebs and I have a whiskey and wine show that we do every Friday, and uh, next week we're going to do a tabletop edition version of it. Uh, I drink whiskey, she drinks wine, you guys buy us shots, um, and we'll be interviewing Grums, so check that out. Uh, but let's go ahead and start hopping into this, uh, since we've had so many damn issues today, um, and I want to get us on track as best I can. Uh, so last time you guys might remember, oh, it kicked me out of fucking roll 22, you son of a bitch. Um, you might remember that our uh, peerless heroes were uh, investigating Yithrin, and they went into a library where they met Narconolith and his little penguin, and uh, um, they were looking around trying to find these very special books that have the names of every, true names of every demon who's ever existed, um, and somewhere along the way, X-Ray Girl uh, decided to go exploring on her own uh, for some god unknown reason. And she stumbled around the corner of some library shelves and found some strange looking eggs um, and decided to take a peek at them. Does that sound familiar, X-Ray Girl? No. I definitely didn't <laughs> explore on my own. Why would I, I, I do that? I forgot it until you started again. <laughs> Uh, when she looked at this egg, it kind of peeled open, and this strange little furry eight-legged thing with a long tail popped out, had like white fur all over it, and lunged towards her face, uh, starting our last ever Yeti encounter. Oh my god. Get ready. It's a, for the, it's a Yeti face hugger? It's Get a Yeti, ready, Yeti. It's the Yeti morph encounter. The Yeti morph encounter. Oh my god. Hold and, uh... It's going to be so amazing, but here's the deal, chat. You guys might be familiar with my five-tiered battle systems that when you send $100 super chats, the battle gets a little bit harder for the players. So if you just want to see the full extent of what these Yeti Morphs can do, it's just going to take a few super chats. Yeti Morphs. Uh, so let it makes me... sense. We had the editor last time, so why would we not have <laughs> Yeti Xenomorphs? True, yeah. true. Uh, you weren't here for the original ones, were you? Um, no, but I was here for the editor. Yeah, we, we had uh, we had Yeti Kruger, uh, Yeti Voorhees. Oh. Um, I just realized that meant Predator and not Redditor. <laughs> <laughs> There's very little practical difference. Well, yeah. Is there a difference? I think not. Wow. Wow. Uh, oh, my little chat tab's not working so I can see what chat's talking about. When I see those supers come through, let me upgrade that back to normal. Boom. Alien versus Redditor. Whoever wins, we lose. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, so I'm going to move you guys onto this map here, but let me put, um, let's see, let's put Flit first because she was the one foolish enough to go around this corner. I totally didn't do that. I told you. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't believe you. Gaslight him. See if that works. Yeah. It, didn't work. it didn't. It work works for some all. women, I hear. <laughs> it definitely did not work. Uh, all right, so well, Sophie's made a whole career out of it. You can't blame her for trying. <laughs> Chad, oh wait, Chadwick's not here. Shit, he's dead. Uh, Kiora. <laughs> well, the nightmare. fake Chadwick is dead. The real one could still be alive. Maybe probably it's very not. possible. It's possible, but usually the doppelgangers kill the people they imitate. Yes. Um, one, two, three, four. Ezra, Darshan. Who's missing? Kylar. There we go. That looks like a team of heroes over here in the library, looking around. All right, we're gonna move. I don't you like guys being put in the same scene as a xenomorph. I'm too close to it in, in iconography. <laughs> One of us is oh gonna yeah, have to this go might be a change. weird identity crisis for you, huh? <laughs> it just becomes friends. <laughs> oh god, it looks oh, ugly. Like it looks like something out of Stranger Things. It feels very <laughs> Stranger Things, creepy. yeah. Uh, yeah. So, to start this off, this little guy's gonna get us a prize round on you, Flit. We, we decided to hold off to see <clears> exactly... <throat> um, oh, by the way, I got a little picture of this guy for you. Let me show you what this is. There's two like. of them. Look how, look how cute oh. he looks. Oh. Isn't he mm -hmm. so adorable? 
Yeah, I'm very happy. Cute little face hugger. Yeah. yeah. Lives in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty sure that's an Australian scorpion. For copy yeah. for for copyright purposes, this is a face snugger. Okay, get it right. This is a face snugger. Face, no, face. It's a struggle snuggle. <laughs> snugger. It's snuggler. There you go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Snuggle your face. While uh -huh. sticking its appendage down your throat. Oh god, that sounds like a face yeah, scraper. Snugger, snugger sounds it's exactly what they are. Really yes. I don't, I don't like, like snugger at all. I'm at least use a soft A. At least use a soft A, please. Oh, a snugger. <laughs> oh my god. Oh I, no. Jesus did Christ, no one, man. Did no one read this out loud? No. No, they did not. Um, <laughs> Alright, so for the start, this thing has advantage. Going for your face. Let's see if it gets you, and then we'll throw you into initiative. A 19. I think a 19 gets you. Yeah? No. It was. Liar. <laughs> Five bludgeoning, and you are now grappled. Until the grapple ends, you are constricted. It's like wrapped around your neck, and it's like put its claws, and it's shoved its little thing down your throat. So, oh, God. So you're already impregnated, then. Hmm. Oh, yay. <laughs> Yay. I'm sure Mummy Buddy's going to be so excited to see this. Yeah, we're going to be so excited. He's really enraged. Like, he's, he's, like, lost control of himself at this point. Like, no. Um, all right. have little flips running around soon. <laughs> and now you can all roll into initiative. And remember, $100 Super Chats unlock the tiers for this fight. And uh, if you want to see player tiers, unlock the tiers. They will cry. They will cry. Oh, good mm -hmm. rolls, guys. Damn, you guys did so good. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I, gotta... I didn't get a three. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't roll a one this three. time. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, can you roll uh, Kiora's? Um, <clears throat> Do I have to? Yes. Okay, where did yes. Go? The he rolled a three. Yes. Fine. Give me one second. Yeah. Everything's working. I'm an advantage here. Yeah. I'm in the vicinity. If I'm going to listen to you, something that sounds racist like a bonuses. Jesus Christ. Commander Keen, you are my childhood hero. How could you dare say such a thing? I can't even believe you're really like that. Damn. What the fuck? Well, the thing is, Flit's already making out with it. I didn't yes, want to. That's true. That she is. She <clears> is. <throat> um, all right. I think we One got side. them all. I, I didn't roll mine, but uh, it would just take me a second because. Uh, yep. So like not I can not. clearly yeah, see so. on the map there's a second oh. face hogger, but it's not in the list. Does that where? is that deliberate or where do you see it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's one. Yeah. Oh, uh, ignore that one. Okay. <laughs> that was I'm one that accidentally <laughs> that was one accidentally <laughs> put on the map layer and I couldn't figure out where he went. Well you just found him. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Shadow Warden <laughs> has empowered the Yeti more for a hundred dollars. There you this, go, this... Shadow Warden. Uh -oh. That's the ticket. Uh -oh. Wait till you no. see what you've unlocked, you very, very wise individual. <laughs> this is why colorblind people are always chosen as snipers though, because we can just pick out where things <laughs> it's like hmm. <laughs> What's oh, that this is going to be so wonderful, actually. Um, let me go ahead and set it up because it's going to be awesome. Descend from the happens. ceiling. This is going to be. If so they could just all weird. attack Flit, <laughs> maybe they would. I think we'd have to put this on Pornhub instead of YouTube at that point. Let's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, go make a joke. Yeah, there's, there's only so, so many like the couch up meme? Like xenomorphs. <laughs> the couch meme, but with xenomorphs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can someone please do that with Flit, please? Twelve tentacles, one Flit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. thank you, Michaela, for the party, a hundred dollars. Well, that was almost a tear, but hey, I appreciate it nonetheless, Michaela. They're gonna need mm. it. They're gonna mm. need it. Knowing how uh, evil you are, I'm surprised you. you still didn't count it as towards the tier. So we I considered it for just a moment. I really did. <laughs> but I felt like it would. It. Uh, I felt like it was going to be against the spirit of her donation. Two. Okay, and a hero point, everyone. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. Sweet. All right. You and need to oh, okay, start perfect. some battle music, and Ezra, you start this thing off. 
Okie dokie. Can I like tell people with the psychic powers that I'm being choked? I think we can see it. Psychic, oh, okay. yes, yes, and some of them can see it regardless. <laughs> but uh, yeah, right okay, now there's something down your down your throat, so you're probably not going to say screaming. a whole lot. But you could definitely, you know, with your mind, if they're connected Everyone to you, else knows say some stuff. Hmm. It seems oddly quiet. What you know when that that note that moment when you realize a something that you've been hearing up till now has suddenly gone quiet. <laughs> That's Flit's voice. <laughs> we, we know she's in trouble because she stopped talking. Uh, <laughs> I'm like children. <laughs> okay. like, she's up to See, something. It was, it was like a something bird stopped chirping or cicadas stopped. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, shit. You see, like, birds, like, jump up it, in the distance, like something bad's about to occur. Okay. Is it upon her person or is it on the floor? It is on her, it's tails wrapped around her neck, it's claws around her head, and you can't see that something's down her throat, but she's not saying a whole lot. I'm probably communicating something's shoving its thing down its mouth, my mouth. Yeah, because otherwise we're like, should, should we just give them the room? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask for consent. Right today, yeah, let's see what spells can I have that would deal with the situation. It's the How good are you at holding your breath? How much of a cloud kill do you think you can take? <laughs> I doubt she's doing much breathing at the moment as it is, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if they actually breathe either. Uh, it's, no, they like, did if breathe. If the term monstrosity ever applied, it would be this. Uh, okay, I think I'm just going to have to rock in and try and wrench off of a person with athletics to be perfectly fair because otherwise it's going to be too much of a bull like right let's do just that uh it's like wandering around in the bird form so yeah you move up and oh I'm gonna try no and, uh, ezra i've got bad news legs. god as you go to help her mm -hmm. unfurling from the ceiling thanks to a hundred dollar super chat Oh, it's a big one. Oh, great. You get whipped by a tail. But it's first, let me show you a picture. No more. <laughs> let me show you this picture first of the creature, uh, also known as the Yeti Morph, uh, so you can see exactly how beautiful this thing is. Uh, shit, where's player handouts? Player handouts. Uh, fuck, I missed it. You know what, I'll just type in the name and it'll find it right away. There it is. Look at this beautiful creature. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Lovely. So we need to see a doctor. So the head unfurls from the ceiling above you and uh, it's got a long white tail and it stabs it at you. <laughs> at I like how it decided on three arms. It's so ugly. It's pretty ugly. Uh, boom. You're the one kissing it. Well, no, it's a smaller <laughs> version. Uh, 22. Oh, okay. uh, 22 will hit. For 14 slashing. Wow. Thank you. By the way, hey, that in uh, mind, Hayden, this... I feel betrayed. Yes. Hated 75! We are at tier three of the Yeti Morph oh, Encounter. God. Oh, it's about no. to get beautiful. It's about to get Thank beautiful. Thank you, Hayden. Anything um, a rude I like is bad. I know. Oh, I'm super excited about this. Um, and by the way, the artwork that you just saw was done by Savage Talk. That is JT Savage. Uh, he submitted that, and it's pretty Aww. badass. Uh, all right, Ezra. Oh, yeah. So you took your attack uh, as this thing unfurled from the ceiling, mm -hmm. but you can continue forward if you'd like. I look behind me. I'll motion the others. Deal with this one. Because the, because the archer can't shoot with her eye, eyes covered like that. Oh, uh, also... does, it, does it count as a ranged or a melee? Does it count as in melee with me for this? It does, but it already got its reaction from going after you, uh, so yeah. if you want to move, you can. Um, yeah, I'm going to move up. I'm going to try and free flip. Uh, I do want to, real quick, I did want to say two things uh, that I forgot. Um, Kiora and uh, Disparu, you each got a hero point, or I mean, a super, inspira oh, oh. Nah, super inspiration from some art that was submitted. Um, as well as comics and Mike, 
Uh, you also got some for some AI art. I got one. And then nice. comics, you got a hero point from somebody who actually paid for it. Uh, so, a bunch of super inspirations and one hero point. Very nice. All right, okay, let's try and free the elf. So I get an additional, or I get two additional hero points. Uh, you get two. Okay, so one double check. Two. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. Sorry. Continue, Ezra. I get advantage on this because it counts as me being adjacent to a creature with an ally. So 22 to wrench the creature free. Thank All you. All right, that will work. You manage to pull this creature off and it starts like thrashing its tail and it's like legs are grasping at you. Um, but you do manage to pull it off of her face. Okay, I succeeded in an attack. Uh, I get a. I can use a bonus action to make another th check. Uh, could I use this as a, like a handle animal check? As this is technically something in yeah, a very yeah. similar species to Ooh. mine. Ooh. I didn't even think of that. I'm going to scold it. I'm going to basically scold it like an unruly child. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's considered no. an this aberration. Like so I don't think a handle animal would work, unfortunately. Uh. She'd roll and intimidate instead, because I'm monstrous yes, myself. Yes, you try to intimidate it. Oh, uh, good point. Uh, this this is my first radio, even though I'm only... My character might only be seven, but I've already had, like, 12 clutches of kids by now. I'm, this is my first radio. <laughs> yeah, these eggs are nothing new to you. Uh, real quick, because uh, uh, Queen Shirts are pointing out, uh, this is technically a new stream since we had to restart it, so uh, we're getting this music and sound effects from Sirenscape.com, not a sponsorship, so long as we let you know. That's where we're getting the music and sound effects. They won't copyright strike our channel, and we appreciate that. Okay. All right. Uh, here's my intimidation, which I still need to somehow get as a actual class skill. But there we go. Here we go. Ah. People can't raise the kids right these days, and they're not they're taking any attention to me. Yeah, this little brat doesn't care. Just doesn't care. Little dick. Maybe Kylar will though. Um, this guy on the ceiling, is he within hit range of the floor, or is he too high? Oh, he's on the floor now. It's like he unfurled from the ceiling, stabbed okay. his tail down, and then landed with a crouch. Well, I'm going to use uh, the crossbow on him. Twenty hit. Twenty will hit. So then there's that damage plus blessed strikes, which is 1d8. Plus, how much is the poison? Was it seven? Seven, yeah. So that'll be uh, 18 damage with uh, four Vuberine Radiant. Strangely and enough, then... this creature does not seem to care about the poison. But the rest, right. and, and even the piercing... Actually, piercing looks like it was fine. Oh, okay. okay. That's good to and know. And then I'm going to get a spiritual weapon next to it on that square. Ooh, that'll hit it. Uh, and you do, you will That's notice also when you hit it with your arrow and it kind of pierces the exoskeleton a little bit, some strange green liquid sprays out <laughs> and starts burning on the mm. floor. Oh, great. So uh, if we damage it next to somebody, they're probably going to take acid damage. Oh, yeah, but your weapon will also probably take damage as well. Oh, I didn't even thought about that. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, that's my but, first thought. It's going to be like a rust monster. Don't worry, folks. I've got a weapon that definitely won't take damage from it right here in my hand. Is it? Oh. oh. I, I thought you meant flit then for a second. Oh, wow. No. Same here. Rude. She, by yeah, the way, the... flit's not a weapon. She's a tool. There's a difference. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit this poor creature with its own offspring. <laughs> poor creature. <laughs> I'll go okay. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, it's like ripping Eleven off four. its leg and beating it with it. Yeah. <laughs> and can I get a hammer there so I know where it is? Yes. Yes, you can. Hammer. Uh, hammer. <clears throat> I thought I had a hammer. Well, any weapon will do. Doesn't matter which. You know what? I'm just going to put this strange looking man with a mop there instead for now. And, uh... With a mop. Hey, that'll do. <laughs> yeah. That's not I, I'm just going to hit someone with an aggressive mopper. Well, maybe. <laughs> it's not even going on the map session. for some reason. He has a lot of hard R's. 
<laughs> well, screw you, map. Mappa. Yeah, Mappa. He like claims. Right, we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know why it's not going out there, but just imagine there's one there for now while I figure this out. Um, damn, this thing really hates me today. Well, at least it's the right place for it. <laughs> Here, you know what? I'm just going to make a copy of you. We're going to call that a hammer. There you go. I'll turn you upside down so you know that you're the hammer. Oh, I'm literally hitting him with myself. There you go. <laughs> Uh, well done, and uh, all right. The creature from the second unlock, or the first unlock of the tier is here. And then the second <laughs> unlock, um, we'll find out here in just a moment. Uh, but this thing, let's see, it's a, it's a little upset that you guys are trying to attack it, so. It hit us first. Yeah. Yeah, true. It's just protecting true. its babies. It can't be like, oh, it's rude. <laughs> He's going to come over and attack Ezra. This thing has multi-attack. Uh, it'll she... start with his claws. Uh, does the baby, does the face hugger count as a whip for the purposes of uh, improvised weapons? Just I'm asking due to reach purposes. Sure. It's quite long. <laughs> do, you still get, do you still get swings when people move through like the extremity of whip range? Oh God, there goes another tier. Sure. Yes, oh Dragon Noodle God. Soup! No. <laughs> Alright, oh, so, so far, I'm you guys it. have unlocked the, f you've unlocked, uh, first, the, uh, the drones showing up. <sighs> you unlocked their blood, not only being acidic, but also dealing damage to weapons and armor. And you have unlocked something else that's going to make an appearance here very soon. Oh, lovely. Thank you, guys. Thank you so only much. Only one <laughs> more tier left. Should be a crackhead in the power lifter. Uh, all right, so it's going to attack you with its uh, claws. It's a heads. dirty 20, Ezra. Uh, that will, I believe, hit. Let me double check. Yeah, my AC is only 18. Eight slashing, and you are considered grappled. And while you're grappled, the Yeti Morph can use its bonus action to a target you with its proboscis, which we'll do in just a minute. It's uh, proboscis? What? Yeah. Proboscis? What does Wait, that even uh, mean? Probis it's proboscis. 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 Ah, I was close to that. the American pronunciation. Probiscuit. Got it. Proboscis. Same <laughs> damn thing. Proboscis. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you know what? If you were close <laughs> enough, I'd hit you with my tail, but you're not. <laughs> but here's a question. Okay. This is for posterity. Uh, for whip type weapons, because obviously they don't have their equivalent of Sentinel or Polar Master, do you get an attack with the whip as people move in to, towards you, or do they get rid of that? Uh, I think you have to have a feat for that. Uh, okay. Yeah, they got rid of that in fifth. Uh, I was just about to say, if it was the case, Sentinel, I was just going to shove the, the other one. face I got onto it <clears throat> to see what would happen. Yeah, unfortunately, no, that's not a thing in this one. But here comes your uh, proboscis. Excuse me. Uh, ooh, but that one's not going to hit you. So it opens its mouth and a tiny little extra uh -oh. mouth that's like a whole Yeti face, like tries to snap at you. <laughs> And it like just goes past your head. And then while it's dealing with you, it's going to whip its tail at Flit. Oh, Flit gets a crit. This is not your day, Flit. He just How many wants times to kill can one me. person get impregnated? So 16 plus 8, that is 24 I slashing for Flit. <laughs> so oh, Flit is. buddy's not out here. Let me grab him real quick. Yeah. He would be enraged, but he, this guy would have already stormed over there and started like bitch slapping one of them. Yep. This one wants that want one to we take his hands off Good Flit, he says. I love that Kyler yeah, is actually like down on first. my map. <laughs> oh, that's the hammer. That's, oh. that's Kyler's hammer. Yeah. Uh, all right, there we go. Mummy buddy. From now on, the hammer shall just be ferret Kylar. There we go. He's uh, he's on initiative somewhere. There he is. When did he get such luscious long hair? <laughs> when he became uh, Sonar the White, obviously. I can't even remember that picture before this week. <laughs> so he's looking a bit elderly. Okay. Um, okay. okay. I was like, what the hell? Okay, it's my buddy. Uh, I'm gonna move there, and I'm going to use. Uh, Eldritch Blast on it. 
Mike had to step not... away for something. He'll be back. Turned into David Bowie. 25. I'm pretty sure that hits. Oof. Yes, it does. Uh, uh, damage is kind of crappy for five. And the second Eldritch Blast uh, also hits on 25. And uh, much better damage. That time much it's better. A, yeah. Uh, hang on a sec. I just realized that I have Necrotic checked for... Oh, wait, it's fine. I'll use my bonus action to hex it first, and then I can have that okay, stuff. Okay, that works. So, yeah, uh, 11 points, so I'm good. That works for me. If you could hex its strength, that would be fantastic. Yeah, I'll um, hex its strength. The face snugger is really upset at Ezra, so now it's going to try to face snug him. I'm trying to get Frenched by its parent. Can it calm down for a second? <laughs> Wow, the face snuggers are on fire today. So it manages to like wrench free and it's like tail is like sliding through your hands, kind of like slimy or whatever. The claws get closer to your face and it finally just grips you. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a real logistical question regarding this because uh, I don't breathe through the same hole as I eat. So well, then I'm going to say what it did is it slid. Ask? So I'm going to say is it slid down your stomach and plugged you in the other hole instead. <laughs> um, welcome to uh, four bludgeoning and being crap. The same. <laughs> no. Do, do you really want me to be birthing a batch of 120 of these things under my command in, four, in a month? Maybe. I'm asking you that as a real question. That Maybe. would actually be really cool. Maybe a welcome end. Um, but now it's got you. you. <laughs> hey, Flit. Mm -hmm. uh, let's hope he doesn't put that same probe down your mouth after this, right? <laughs> Why is this being so nasty? Okay, so it's okay. Uh, I actually, I, I think I, the face hugger, gr you know, grubber, whatever we want to call it. I don't know if we settled the name. Snuggler. Snuggler. Um, yeah. You know that the one that's in front of me. This one is the one it's on Ezra. Right Uh, yes, that one is currently gripping Ezra. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my, uh, well, I'll do a Hunter's Mark first. And I'm going to obviously use it on him. And I am going to, oh, wait, to pull it off, it's not to hit it, right? Or is it the same thing? Exactly. Uh, to pull it off is an athletics check, but you shot it. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, I haven't done anything. Oh, really oh that's just yet. your hunter's mark. Yeah, yeah. So you'd be using yeah. athletics to try to pull it off. Okay, I want to do that. Um, so athletics check. Yep. <clears throat> wow. Can I also throw it far away? Like, since that's such a good pull. Oh, Jesus. Yes. You can, yeah, you could drop it off yeah. to like the side over here or something. Shove it in the drone's mouth. Yeah. yeah. So that, you take it, you, you, you fling it to the, you, you yeah. yank it off of his uh, his booty hole, and you mm -hmm. throw it over to the side. It kind of hits this pot, smashing the pot, and the creature's like scrambling around in the broken urn pieces. That says no, no, square. Don't touch him there. <laughs> oh my god! Sorry. Wow. Wow. In the no, no hole. No. <laughs> swear to oh god. My god. <laughs> Um, it should be this game that happened to me in, but there we go. That was my... It was an exit only. That, that's a, that was my action, right? Yes. Okay, and then let me just... Not in my spin rate. I guess I'll go over here. I don't know. I don't really think I can do much after that. Uh, cool. I will save my Hunter's Mark for who I use it on next, I guess. I really can't Wonderful. do anything else. I know this um, is going to be a bad place to be. I have a feeling you you walked right into the best place ever, actually. For you. Unfurling from the ceiling. <laughs> oh, wow. Here, here it is. We've triggered everything. A tail strike yeah. against Flit. Everything just seems to want to do me. I don't understand this. <laughs> well, you I'll walked in all provocatively <laughs> like that. What did you think was going to happen, X-Ray Girl? Uh, 18? And these creatures are all about penetration. They're all Clearly. about penetration. What do I do? 18 does hit X-Ray Girl's flit for 13 slashing. And here's the best okay. part. It goes next. 
Oh, wow. Great. Cool. How are you feeling, X-Ray Girl? You know, living cool. on the edge. This is probably the most danger Flint's ever been in. No, uh, I've been hit a lot before, too, in a couple other fights. It's fine. A couple other fights? Gotcha, gotcha. Just, just right. a couple. <laughs> I'm not like Talaron, although this one I might be Talaron. <laughs> All right, first, it's going to uh, strike you with its tail from a distance. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to miss. And then frustrated that it didn't spear you with its tail, it's going to move in and try to grab you. Uh oh. No, I get a crit on that one. Nine plus five, that is 14 slashing, and you are grappled. This creature now has you in its claws, which means as a bonus action, it gets to use its proboscis on you. Probiscuits, got it. God damn it. Yeah. A 19 will hit. This is what you get for saucing or being saucy towards me. 16 piercing as the little yeti thing like smacks you in the forehead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Causing our concussion. Why do you have to make it so so gross? <laughs> it mushroom so you stamped got, you. Now you got like a <laughs> you got a little mushroom mark. No, you got a bite mark on your forehead. Oh no! Um, I'm sure mummy buddy is just so excited. <laughs> look like a red mushroom. Yeah. Uh, so that creature's done. It's got you grappled still. On way. <clears throat> um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna use. Uh, uh, let's see. Fling, I need a DNA test. test. <laughs> Mike! Okay, we can do that later. Right? My map must be a little bit slow. It's shit. Uh, I'm going to use, I think, this the right one. Yeah. Mm, oh, I was pattern, I think. I was mistaken, chat, by the way. We're on we're on tier three unlock. We still have two more tiers mm. unlock. Yeah. I thought there was only four. There's five. There's five. five? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, hypnotic pattern uh, to just try to distract all of them. Uh, oh, of course, here where it does. And click, there it is. Um, for all of the face thingy monsters in the area to try and distract them, and that will uh, charm them and reduce their speed to zero. Perfect. Yep. Apparently, we're supposed to have a penguin called Nibbles with us. Oh, yeah. I can't even remember oh, this guy at all. That was the one that was the, <laughs> the prisoner of yeah. the uh, guy. Mm -hmm. 30 foot. No, that wasn't Nibbles. Nibbles was the Remoras. Oh, yeah. Each yeah, the, so uh, it's 120 feet, feet so it, it's, it's in this. Wait, this where have these eggs come from? So everything's. Everything uh, is affected by it. All right, Including so when uh, Ezra and Flit went, or when Ezra came around the corner, he saw these eggs, and when Flit goes in here, she sees them too. Um, hold on, oh. I'm trying to read this. So the 120 feet is the range. It's a 30 foot cube. Is the distance? 30 foot cube. Right, right, so, okay. So, right, right. So it, it's it's still everything. It's everything. Yeah. So it looks like it's good enough to get oh. all of those. Uh, and can you choose if it who it affects? Um, I'm I'm gonna because it might get clear nuts. Uh, it looks like it, it will get Ezra and Flit, everyone, too. I think they're going to have to make a, a saving throw, but I'm just... Okay. Okay. Right. Um, I'm sorry, with this. It's fine. I'd rather get everything and, and, and have them have to take a saving throw against them. That yeah. works. Try and Go right. ahead. Save? We have hero points, too. The face right, snugger right, takes a wisdom. It's wisdom? I'm pretty sure it wasn't yep. I, yeah. The face snugger fails. Like maybe. The creature number one yeah. makes a wisdom. I think I passed, right? Creature number two makes a wisdom. You did pass. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Oh, one of the creatures, uh, the one that has oh, bell passes, that. the one that has flit fails. Uh, so it is charmed. Does it release me? Uh, I mean, can I tell it to being charmed? Charm of the spell is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. So yes, it automatically will release you. It's incapacitated, so it's not going to do much of any commands. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, even with that hero point, I feel that fails. It says 10. Do you have a super yeah, 12 inspiration? Fail. That Thank is you. with the Direct super inspiration. Or do you... Oh, actually, Bill, do you have a bard inspiration? Well, no, because if it was a super inspiration, wouldn't you have got the 24? Yeah. Oh, and because, yeah, that's what I was trying to use. Is this. Okay. I got the two mixed up at super inspiration. Yeah. yeah. 
I didn't save Flit. Don't blame me. Uh, the bard saved Flit. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah, Irida would never say Flit. He's been he's been trying to kill her from I'm the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it really hard. I know. Man, I'm so hard. A success. Well, it's like when they made you do a wisdom save. It's like and you went, oh, past. Have you ever failed a save? Like you probably failed by um, two, all of them. I don't remember if I've actually failed a save or not, but I have. I've had to use hero points though. The help. Oh, yeah. The struggle. Remember when? Remember when at one point she had like forty super inspirations? It was ridiculous. And then I divvied them out to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Insane. Uh, Mike's not back yet. Uh, damn it. Um, Mike would just run up and hit them all. Hit them all. That's true. Yeah, that's what Maybe I not even going to damage his weapon, though. I don't, but... I don't know if Mike would mind if he had Oh, yeah, to damage his weapon. That's a... Well, his his Ooh, weapon is true. the relic weapon as well. Yeah, yeah, maybe uh, not. Would it affect yeah. magical weapons? Um, I don't know. So maybe not. Well, you There's only one way to find it. out, but... Uh, I mean, I don't know what else he would do besides that, so I think he would do it. Wait, why is the HP so low? Stick. Oh, oh wait, you might not uh, have rested. Real quick, at the end of my turn, sorry, before you do that, I'm just, who does not have Bardic Inspiration? Me. Who doesn't remember that they have it? There we go. Just yeah. Yeah. Flit probably um, needs it the most at this point. Okay, yeah. yeah, Flit obviously needs it, so I'll give you Bardic Inspiration. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. All right. Okay. He'll rush in and... I don't fucking oh, yeah, know, Kira's man. a giant. Can't she just stomp on them? <laughs> oh yeah, she's really big. Yeah, let me give her a bigger uh, token. There Thank you, go. Michaela. Uh, all right, she so she's just kick them. She's gonna go in with her quarter staff. She'll swing it. Like in her giant hand, it looks like a chopstick. Eighteen. She probably. <laughs> I hope it increases. Well, actually, I don't know. You're right. It's probably just a little. Well, all her did, but twig in her hands. Uh, eight. All right, so she smacks it with that. It seems ineffective. Um, and whenever it hits her, some acid splashes out from the crunch against the exoskeleton. But it doesn't seem to damage his weapon. Lucky him. Uh, so she's got to make a dex save. Oh, he'll be fine with that. Let's roll it real quick. You, you know full well he would use stunning strike. Yeah, he's definitely good with that. And then, uh, yeah, let's use a stunning. Ooh, he's only got five left. That's right. We'll uh, we'll use one at least. Stunning strike. But Mike has never cared about using all the stunning strike. He might in this fight. Especially if they unlock ability, one more tier, it. he will probably oh. really care. Uh, Fifteen. I don't think actually passes. So this creature will be stunned. Releasing as Who knows? Can you simp stone a yeti morph? Probably um, not, because it's not a humanoid. TBD? Oh, okay. Well, there's no point in using it's it then. Probably monstrosity. But you can sure try it! There is precedent. One time it's I accidentally insane. let you simp a tree when I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> oh. Nice. Does, it, does it count on, like, the person wielding it? Because if, if you hand it to me, then oh, I'm monstrosity. I could probably do it. Uh, so she gets to do one more quarter staff, which she will do. Well, you got your next tier unlocked. Oh, no, he gave it to you guys. He gave oh, it to you guys. Oh, for the party, to yeah, even the better. Bugs. Oh, yeah. 14 bludgeoning, uh, which is cut in half. Uh, another acid. <gasps> Mystery. Oh, thank you so much. For the party, 100 Canadian. I have no idea what the situation is, but aliens need to go. Oh, DCV then... Titan oh, upgrades awesome. the Titan, I think, or the, uh, the, whatever the fuck they're called, Yeti Morphs. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Ah, the real fun is about to begin. Uh, Kiora can then, God, Kiora has so much shit she can do in one turn. Uh, she can do a couple punches. Um, I won't use any more of her key. I'll just do the one punch and call it good, and then I'll let him use his own key when he gets back. Oh, wait, that didn't even hit. My bad. Oh, that did hit. Ten. Uh, which, again, is reduced down to five. And then another deck save from Kiora. 
Oh shit, I just realized uh, Ezra's over there. Ezra, I need you to make three deck saves. Bloody hell. Okay. Um... From all the acid being splashed on you. Okay, dokie. One, two, three. All right. Well, you and Mike both uh, would fail the, uh, unless you want to use some hero points or something. Yeah, I'll hear it one last. <clears throat> well. Uh, 12. All right. You're still going to take it. Um, I'm not going to use Mike's resources until he gets back. So, especially the hero points. So he'll just take it as well. And if he tells me he would have done differently, well, we, can, we can go with it. Uh, so you take... 4d6 acid damage. Jesus. Wow. Oof, oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oof. Oof. Bang goes my like wild shape. 50. Yeah. And then I'll let Mike, uh, if he changes his mind about the hero point when he gets back, I'll, I'll retcon it. Yep. Uh, and then he has mobility, so he would not stay near it. He's going to move back. All right, before it goes to Mummy Buddy, um, you hear a little squishy oh. sound uh, to the to the north. Oh no! Hey, gifted memberships inbound as another face snugger comes onto the scene. I keep forgetting about the name. It gets me every time. <laughs> it's going to leap at uh, Ezra. Oh, oh, again. Really shitty job. Yep, I called it. Does not. Hit. Yeah, sucker. This Let's one will down. not allow for that one to hurt Flit. Mummy buddy comes in to attack the Yeti morph. Uh, okay, here we go. Normal submit. Does not hit though. Damn. I'll try one more time. Um. Damn. Mummy buddy's not doing too good today. Uh, he misses He's both. Useful as <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh no. <laughs> Neither of them have done any damage to anything. <laughs> Kylar, you hear a little sickening sound to the north as a little face snugger crawls out of an egg. I was just thinking I'm not going to go any further left because I might trigger them. Well, here we go. Well, going further left usually does trigger something. It's going to try to snug nah. your reptile face. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, gifted membership drop. Appreciate you guys. Misses. Uh, it misses. It like leaps at you, hits the wall, and scrambles back down, and is like now kind of darting side to side, waiting for its next chance. I'm just laughing its face. <laughs> <laughs> at the start oh, of the next round. Oh, if it went past me to get to him, and I was from like the mud. Yeah, it's from the bottom uh, eggs. This one. Yeah, the bottom eggs. Oh, um, what? The one that just jumped at me could actually, that be a constitution saving throw? The one that jumped at uni is a con save? Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to necrotic damage. It helps. Yep, yep, yep. It's into my spore range. Good news, it fails. Hey, let's go. Okay. Don't it takes how much? Is... Uh... This Peru gets a hero point. Spores, two and four. Oh, four. thank you. Courtesy of Dragon Ball Super Gaming. Four, got it. Okie dokie. With uh, my turn, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use Symbiotic Entity and just. I'm, I'm pissed off at trying to fight these things as an animal, so I'm just like, just chunks of uh, like two great antlers made of like hardened fungus erupt out of my exoskull and all down my body to the point where I actually kind of look like one of them. Hmm. Incredible. Like the big spore chimneys on the shoulders and such. And that will activate some good entity. I'll show you 
Uh, I can't use Tavern Brawler with uh, a not another action. I can use it with attacks and attack-like options. So I can't use it for that. However, I can use Healing Word. Uh, Flit's pretty... pretty uh, at least it... I knew he misspoke and said knocked up rather than banged up, so that was, that was a quick save. Uh, I could be knocked <laughs> up and banged up, you Don't know. Don't worry, I'm right Why there not? with you. We're both Why having not? a rough time of it. So, uh... I'm still here. Yeah. Okay, how much is it for healing word? Uh, let's see. Tell me how much to heal. Just a 1d4 plus... 1d4 plus... So four? Dreadful. Yeah, it's four. Thank you. Not a lot, but it's my health. It's better than nothing, okay? <laughs> she might need it. She might I'm need it. And... She might just. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that'll that'll I should put movement left. I am going to I'm gonna move over here next to the uh uh, Steph, I'm here at level 9. Other monsters. Okay. Let me get here. There we go. Yep, that'll be my turn. Oh, and Kylar, I don't remember what form you were last time, but since it's a new session, you're back to Dragonborn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember either. Um, so I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. Everyone. Yeah. Oh. Um... I mean, that will work the charm can't... on all of them, but whatever. What is this? Is this like a pillar or a box? As uh... in, can I see Ezra? <clears throat> or right, yeah, right now, yeah, you do not see Ezra at the moment. Okay. You, know my, well, you do know my location, though. But yeah, it's you... just because I can't make you immune, immune to my spirit guardian, so I'll just have to stay away from you. Uh, you like... could, if you take one square back, you'll be able to see everybody, if you go here. It's up to uh... you. Okay, I'll let it go for me. Uh, yeah, so Spirit Guardians, everyone I can see will be immune. Uh, should I? Should I? Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna oh, upcast okay, that. That's actually fine. I'm gonna upcast that to four, actually. Four? Damn. Uh, well, the face snugger definitely misses. Um, and you upcast it to four, so I think you need to. Yeah, I'll have to do another... Well, it doesn't matter, because nothing will take damage immediately. But when it's damaged, make sure you do it from four. Yeah, I'm, I'll just roll for the next thing. So it's like 21. Okay, 21. Perfect. Uh, Fantastic. And then uh, I'll mm -hmm. hit the thing with my hammer. If I can find where it is. That should hit. Nine force. Nine force, got it. And on the move there. Nice part about the hammer is it doesn't cause acid damage. Oh no, actually, no, I'll move there. <laughs> so I've still got it. Actually, what happened to five? Does that get all the eggs? It does. I'm not even sure getting all the eggs is a good thing. I hate you. All right. Um, yeah, that'll be me. That creates an interesting situation. So let's see. Yeah, um, I, I wasn't sure if destroying the eggs would be a good thing or a bad thing because it might just I'll free you all. Out. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. So you're a player, so I would say these would have been. All right. Uh, so let me make a wisdom save for the eggs. So. If we should all die here, by happenstance, hell diverse type party as a theme. <laughs> <laughs> you you smash thing. through the canopy, hello boys. <laughs> that is one good thing about getting back from Vegas. I was just like, I can play hell divers again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, Sorry, DC sixteen. All three. All three of the eggs fail. Uh, so the first egg will take the damage you already rolled, but then roll me two more damages. Oh. Okay. One egg down. Oof. Okay. This is the 
sound effects. <laughs> You've been looking I, I think you make these enemies just so you can make the sound effects. Yeah. I do. I do. <laughs> uh, no, I do congratulations. You destroyed all three eggs. Awesome. Uh, now it goes to the creature. The feature creature. Uh, all right. This thing's uh, not too pleased. Um, not much I can do about it because it's stunned. So, Talaron. Yeah, just watch me murder its babies. <laughs> yep. Did you uh, hit, hit this one yet as well? I will. Like... I will when it's hit. When it's his turn, it'll automatically take. Oh, me. okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. I'm gonna hit it with Eldritch Blast again. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, seventeen. Does that hit? Seventeen does hit. All right. Uh, it will take seven damage. And my second one, 22, that's definitely going to hit. And it will take nine damage off that second blast. It's looking rough, but it's still up. And, and I'm going to stay put. Technically, you have advantage if you want to try to fish for a crit, but. Oh, it's really? Stunned. Um, yeah. Oh, OK. Um, uh, let me uh, roll those twice just to see. Uh, nope. And the second one. Nope. OK. So the damage I rolled stays. All right. Got it. <clears throat> and you're staying where you're at? Yeah, I'm staying put. All right, this face hugger is currently charmed and incapacitated, so it's just staring at swirling colors. Flit. Uh, in terms of in the incapacitation, how long does that last for Anway? Or I guess spell. Erudai. Somebody attacks it, or the spell goes off. I believe. I believe. Uh, how yeah. long does the spell last for? Uh, yeah, it's it's charmed for the duration, so... which is a minute, so ten rounds. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. And what is this what thing is here? Is it like more <laughs> eggs? <clears throat> Yes. Yeah, there's at least three there. Okay. Um, I am going to use Hail of Thorns as my bonus action. Um, and I'm going to shoot at the eggs with my bow. Uh, ooh. And oh, it? long bow. Here I go. And then um, I'm going to send my um, ferrets as well. So you're going to have to minus a little bit with the hunter's mark here. So that would be minus four from there. Got it. And then I don't know what to do with hailthorns. Is that just the damage I do automatically? Plus five all around dexterity saving throws. Okay. Uh, yeah. So one of the eggs you decimate, it is gone. Uh, the other one takes a little bit of damage. And then I'm going to move over uh, here to... Oh, and Flit. What? When you shoot that egg, you hear an ear-piercing, heart-wrenching screech come from the north. Oh, great. Oh, great. The mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> I, th I think it was. Yeah, I have a well. feeling those eggs will keep pumping out the little babies. Yes. Okay. Um, let me just see. I need... The... Oh, yeah. I'm going to come... That, that was group. probably that was probably just the next tier starting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right there. Mommy, mommy is the tiers I got unlocked. Okay. Yeah. Cool beans. There we go. <laughs> and it's my turn. <laughs> and then for hail, I, that lasts a minute, I believe. So. Next time you hit a creature. Yeah. Uh, not exactly. So don't understand oh. what that means. So when you activate that for a minute, the next time you hit a creature, so basically for a minute uh, until you hit a creature. So since you hit the creature, it is now gone. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Cool, that still discharged. Okay. That's basically like a freaking hunter's mark then. All right. Well, it's a little bit better because it hits like multiple creatures at once if there's a cluster, but. Oh, oh okay. Oh, good. <laughs> um, all right. So... That creature was charmed. Onway. I think I she's away. Oh. Yeah. Nope, I'm uh, done. Sorry. Oh, I, think, um, 
Bye, I'm stuck in my room for a second. Uh, hello. <laughs> okay, so, all right, everything's still turned. Sorry to walk away for a second. Um, do, do, do. Uh, okay. Um, what can I do then? Hmm, you know what? Uh, are these all still charmed? Or is it, has anything... Sorry, They're, still charmed. The They're still charmed. They're still charmed. I would go for the eggs if I were you, or um, well, the little creatures good. that aren't charmed. Because yeah. we heard a piercing scream when I hit the eggs, which is mama. Right. Coming from the right, north. Yes. Yeah, I was here for that one. Okay. My mom was coming back from like at the same time, so I was trying to deal with that. Um, okay. So, yeah, let's see. The eggs are... Can they be down here? Where are they? Uh, Where in the map are they? They're done. Uh, this is the one that can be hit. This is one that can mm -hmm. be hit in the eggs. Yeah, the one to the south might die in um, Spirit Guardians anyway, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Am I even, where am I even on the screen, actually? You're between Kiora and Kyla. You're under Kyla, yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay, that's, I was gonna say, oh, okay, I was like, wondering what, all right, yeah. <laughs> so I got dwarfed, literally. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, this one, yeah, maybe I can do that. Um, hmm, can I kill that thing? Um, You know what? Just because, sorry, I'm, my cat's here too. I'm not used to any of this. I'm not sort of my element. All right, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just mock it, I guess. Which is mockery, whatever. Uh, Why not? We we'll call it the disgusting little parasite. Sorry. Um, yeah. Why not? Which is mockery. On the um, uh... could it be affected by that? You're, you're well, trying to get to the egg. Oh, is it? Is it? I thought it no, found the egg is, already. Oh, the creature. This is the okay. baby. Yes. The baby. No, the creature. Ooh. All right, and yeah. it is. Yeah, what a little pathetic worm right. you are! Yep. You're just born. What a, what a loser! Wow, you can't <laughs> even walk. Wow. <laughs> Look at you insulting <laughs> a baby. It's kind of messed up. I mean. I mean, what's the baby gonna like, do? Defend here, itself? Yeah. Yeah. What are you oh. gonna do? You, you know what? Oh shit! What are you gonna do? Try and crawl up my ass again? <laughs> That's why there's no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not even sure I have an ass. Troy Queen, the Troy Queen anatomy chart yeah. stops at the uh, abdomen. That's why it's so great to steal candy from them. They can't even defend themselves. All right, I got a 19, which will pass. Oh dang it! <laughs> All right, who would like a bardic inspiration? Who doesn't have one? I got uh, please one for you last them, time. I suppose. Do I say no? Uh, sure, yeah, Ezra, there you go. Bard of Inspiration. Bargain. Thank you, brother. Mm hmm I gotta Take do... I gotta be Kiora again. Um... Alright, I think Kiora would, uh... Hmm. You know what? Actually, Kiora will not. Uh, ha having seen how much damage that Asta did last time to her friends, she will use her nope. warlock ability <laughs> to do Eldritch Blast. Smart oh, move. this is the first time I've ever seen Kiora do this. Uh, she's used it before. That I remember. Uh, so she gets uh, <laughs> two of these. First Kitty, one misses. Puppy. Let's <gasps> love how the black dog just blends into my shirt. Uh, like, all you can like, see are the muzzle and eyes. Yeah. <laughs> just, all right, this one dies. Muzzle, eyes, and teeth. So cute. He looks particularly vampiric with just the teeth showing. Oh, you well, want the, me too. He, he's part pug, so he's got the pug underbite and the uh, basically orc teeth. That's it's pretty so funny. That's so adorable. Yeah. Wait, this is the one with, not the one with the ear. This is the one with the anxiety. This is the one that did the ear, uh, bit my other dog's ear off. Yeah. Okay. No, not like the entire well, ear, just it. part of it. There's yeah. a portion that's missing. missing. Not well, as long as you only bit part of an ear off. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the funny thing is, I was supposed to go on a stream with Carrie Smith. This is like December of a couple of years ago. It wasn't Carrie's ear, was it? No, no. It was like 15 <laughs> minutes before, before go live, these two get into it. And it's just like, 
I mean, there's like blood all over the place. It was pretty yeah. bad. Was was like, like, in blood. The, the, the fight, the fight started in the bedroom and ended in my office. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. I'm not sure Ever how much anxiety they, you can have when you bite somebody's ear off. It feels yeah. like the other person should be the one with anxiety. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> Five, six, perfect. Uh, all right, so the face snugger tries to get Urza, fails. And then... It goes to Mummy Buddy, who's going to move down in front of Flit <laughs> to protect her from the face snugger. Uh, Thank could, you, Mummy Buddy. Could the, um, could the hard R alien please make me a fort save? So, constitution yes. save. Oh, great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not saying it. I, it's too dangerous. I could slip, and that's me done. <laughs> that's the whole stream. Yeah, so I was going to say. Which... <laughs> If I'm going to go down in flames, I'm going to do so solo. I'm not going to take the old enemy. Nope. <laughs> it fails. <laughs> Okie dokie, that takes 2d6 necrotic. Wow. Necrotic. Those good rolls. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was really good. All well, right, I, I am popping out basically Cordyceps, so it makes some sense. Thing. And yours does take 11. It's looking acidy and bloody looking. And then this guy down here took some slashing damage, so Mummy Buddy's gonna take some massive damage from the little face snugger. Oh no. Um, what happens if you grew mushrooms on like chlorine trifluoride? <laughs> so that's what alien blood is, is chlorine trifluoride. Shit. Uh, Mummy Buddy does not take acid damage. He manages to, to avoid the splash. Nice. Uh, the last face snugger. 18. Oh, no, this one's it. oh, well, he's no longer a face snugger, as it turns out. Yay! Which brings us to the top no. of the round. Oh, no. I know exactly what's going to happen now. I feel Mama like. shows up. Hey, don't worry, they haven't hit the Mama. fifth tier yet. At least they haven't done that. <laughs> because that would be terrible. Yeah, that would be yeah, terrible. Th this is like grandmother don't so, comes out. Don't sound too excited, Arudai. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited. It's so horrible for them Question. to have to deal with that. Grandmother is like the... Um, go on. Does Anwe have Arcane Lock? No. Yeah. We got Arcane Lock the far door and I've seen her smashed into the door. What on earth is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's Mama queen. Yeti comes out. Great. Wow, it's animated. Yeah. It is. It is? Yeah. Sure you see its tail moving and shit. Whoa, oh, that's yeah. freaky. Oh, it's not sure. Yeah. Oh my god. Ezra! Oh, shit. Bigger she, than just, she just goes for the first thing she sees, assuming it must be the creature that attacked her eggs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and Mama's right. gonna reach for you with its claws. This she is gets why I didn't advance. <laughs> so, um, uh, is it going for me or is it going for Flip? Because I'm behind a pillar. Holy! For you. Fucking a. Wow. For twenty slashing. slashing, you are grappled. There goes half my ten points. And then it's going to try to uh, poke you in the face with its proboscis. Free biscuits. Quit saying that. This is the with running. <laughs> this is this is why this is the downside going spore druid because you can get knocked out of your only class ability so easily. Its face opens up and a tiny face comes out. Or actually, this is for like a fist-sized face at this point and plunges into your head for twenty-four piercing. Oh my. Oof. Yep. Bang is my. My uh, necrosis ability. And then it's going to try to claw you one more time. Again? It's got three attacks plus that bonus one it just did. Ugh. Holy smokes. 27 uh, slashing. Uh, I didn't mean to alarm anyone, but I'm down to 30 hit points. Yeah. That, just rent that just chunked off three quarters of my health. Yeah, no shit. Um, uh, anybody gotta... stay away from this guy, please. Am I poisonous when I'm in spool mode? <laughs> oh, hi. What are you doing there? Or and then I... her 20 foot reach tail will oh, spear God. flipped. Why is he getting like, penetrated? Ouch. 
Yeah. He's chasing yeah. just from his mouth out. Placer and be a massive problem. Rudai is role playing out his hentai fantasies. Yeah, right that's right. I'm really disturbed. Like, well, well, I, I this have episode. been no, suffering no, no. without mm. Rakeda, so I just really wanted to hearken back to him. That's what oh, you it, 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 you, So you brought Rakeda back in spirit to be degenerate, yes. I see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Somebody in the spirit of Total, ra total rounds of use of necrosis mode. Zero. <laughs> We popped it last time. Oh yeah. Alright, uh, Ezra, you are currently gripped by this thing. Well, I have been mama's no joke. Yeah, you fought that last time too. I'm gonna suplex the fucking Xenomorph Queen. Oh, I've God, got two grapple go. attempts this turn. Let's fucking go! You're yeah. in my distance. <laughs> and I've got inspiration. Let's get inspired. <laughs> I'm gonna, and I'm gonna mm. pop an inspiration, my body inspiration, which is an extra D8. You don't need it. You have 29. No, oh, I need it. I'm putting this thing. <laughs> okay. I, it, I'm hitting it with that that uh, old school. You can use the damage instead of for. You know, you can use the body inspiration for damage instead of for confirmation. Oh, yeah. it applies as damage afterwards, even if you do this. Oh, does it? Okay, there you go. But first and foremost, let's put this thing on the ground. Yeah. Damn. All right. Uh, so I got to roll to counter. I didn't hear no bell. Uh, so I can oppose with athletics or acrobatics. All right, I'll go with acro or athletics. <clears throat> oh, damn. Uh, this place will even, be as a queen. Go back home. <laughs> even with the hero point, I I won't even waste that. Uh, and I can't use that for it. It's all right. You've got her. She's gripped. Okay, she's on the deck. You are gripping each other. That sounds dirty. Can't wait. Why? Why? Oh, that was, they're about to get to the walls. Oh, that, that was to knock her prone. Why language? <laughs> that was knocking oh, her prone. Now I'm going to try and grapple her. So does that mean we get advantage on her? You do. Yeah, and I'm going to try and grapple her now as well. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to preemptively say I'm going to use some of my uh, hero points to get me an extra D8 on this. Do you think radiant Pretty damage safe. would be better on a creature like this for you D&D? &D so, anything death? but physical would be good because it's not going to spread. If it's not physical, it's not probably not going to spread. By the really. way, chat, tier five, not giving any hints or anything. I'm just saying it would be legendary if you were to unlock it. Nope. Oh, I just had an idea. Hey, uh, you know how I got, during my grapple, I got diddled? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to return the favor. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're not the only parasite. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the boss of this gym is. So she's got to try <laughs> <and go. laughs> Fucking Gachi Muchi Xenomorphia. So you're at 26. <laughs> right? Mm. Uh, 26 got beat. <clears throat> Alright, I'll use my one villain point that I got this session. Roll one. Use it all so you don't have it for later. I mean, it's the only one I got. 28. Alright, I do resist the second one. Do I have any other fucker I can do? Oh, don't forget it's a disadvantage because it's prone. Oh, yeah. Oh, so what does that put me at? 27? Uh, which still comes ahead of 26. Damn. Mm. So close. Do I have any other pieces I don't worry about? Hmm. I'm, sh oh, I'm well, sure they'll be back soon, there. chat. Hopefully. Mm. I think I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, I've got a reaction on my turn, so it can give me a con save for it versus a, a d6 and a necrotic. <clears throat> yep, that I can do. Con save. Oop, that's the wrong one. Uh, 13. Damn, I rolled bad. Okay, so it takes the d6. It's only a d6. It's not... Well, at least you got the max. Six, six necrotic damage. Well done. Okay, anything else to worry about? Just let me double check everything. I think 
That's my turn. Yes. That is my turn. Speaking Hi, of Mike, Mike. Turn lost, Mike is here. Oh, okay. uh, I'm he's grappling there. as Edenmorph Queen. Please we have help. A queen. Please help. Which means I'm I get a refresh. It's uh, not good. On, on, this, it's... on this queen, does hitting it anywhere count as a hit, like its tail or anything? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, man, I don't know what that is. Uh, 200. Is that a hero point, Shekels? I think that's a hero point. Uh, I appreciate that, Warlock. I appreciate that. Um, all right, let me... He gave you 200 sex. Yes. You know what? I'll take that, too. Redeemable, uh, you? Redeemable on demand. Like an IOU. I only. Oh, I, um, I was very wise. He has only hit me one key and point. Ezra. By the way, that's two hundred Swedish krona. It is Swedish krona, but yeah. because he, he did a stunning strike on something, which I requested. No, okay, no, 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 you so said you had five. Then you whenever I opened your sheet, it said you had five. I don't remember what you did last time. Did you rest? Oh, wow. so maybe you need to rest your character. I really don't and then... remember then. We've, we've been wandering around. Yeah. We basically have rested. We've been resting, oh, yeah. So. <laughs> Whatever they're called. I don't know what they're fucking called, man. No. Uh, give give no. me one second. I need to restart because they can't hear you. Just give me a second. No, you haven't rested okay. yet. Or... Yeah. Yeah. It does it's between, like, 20 and 30 damage right, a hit. Go. It's been pretty nasty. Does. The queen does? It hits four okay. times. Yeah. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Well, the yeah, fortunate thing fun. is I can run up and hit it and then run away, and it can't... It's prone currently, so... It can't attack a VOP. Yeah. Me. Really? Ezra's got a Unless grapple. Unless chat yeah, makes it grapple, things a yeah, legendary us, donation, unbelievable. right, chat? Even if you make it legendary, Rudai, it would literally be you metagaming, because, like I said, there's only, like... 10 things on the entire in the entire like like stats of D, D that are immune to stun like 10 things that's it and most of them are gods i mean this is practically a god no it's not it's a weird <laughs> also what you're saying is this is a this is definitely a um what's the word benchmark event chat can't oh. see mike shit but they can hear him. i mean it's an improvement <laughs> if, this, wow. if this is a god, this is definitely a monster. If they have to look at you, then they need to counterbalance it by having them looking at me, okay? You really want to be on my desk, don't you? There you go. Yeah. yeah you want Mike to sit on your desk. I, have, I, have I was like, depends on, on who you're talking dog. to. Talking to my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Did you talk about a major underbite? Uh, yeah, like, he, he's a oh, that That's my favorite oh. thing ever. Vampire fangs. Yeah. Like, oh, no, his, his name is Buddy. <laughs> I like the name though, Major Underbite. Major Underbite? No, oh, he, that he, is not he, his I name. Carries the ear off. No, but I just love like he's got like the orc fangs. He's like, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, call him, I call him the orc dog. He yeah, has eaten more that. dogs than I have. <laughs> you know, we, we never found the, the piece of Chug's ear, so I'm pretty sure Buddy ate it. <laughs> yeah. oh, He's a cannibal! Oh, oh, Roy the Romulan says, oh, kick rock, Mike, you mad the game all the time. You know what I can't do? Give my character legendary resistance to one specific oh, damage dragon noodle soup. So, We wow. can do this! Dragon noodle yes. soup! Uh, all right. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna point and laugh at a rude eye. <laughs> this is the worst was miracle I ever purchased. The rude eye's got a small dice bag. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. A tiny little dice bag. Now, I only rolled once for 10 pin points, so I'm rolling twice for the last one as well. Because we've gotten three yeah. miracles so far. Oh, shit. We get 10. Uh, how many do we get? Rolls? 1d4 plus 1. 1d4 plus okay. 1. And then that, there was the other one as well with uh, mystery, I believe, was our last, last, or last True. one. True. Okay. So, so it, it's a total of uh, also, two rolls. Then? Two rolls. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty yeah. confident that that made uh, Rudai pretty. Good. Look at his face. Final. He's like. Yeah, he gets all red in the face. I'm and stuff. He's like, oh I'm no, they're making fun of me. 
You know, That's okay, so, so we have a, I have a hat that says Mel Trent sucks. Can we get a hat that says Fed Rudai sucks? Wow. <laughs> no. It's 2d4 plus 2. The Fed you sucks. Commit tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Actually, Dragon we do Noodle have, it. Yes. Away. Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming has upgraded the final tier on this. The uh, queen I... is now a legendary creature. Oh, dear God. Well, as she's a legendary creature, I'm going to cast Shatter in that circle. Um, okay. And I'm going to do Harness... What's it called? Uh, harness Destructive Power or something. It oh. basically means any thunder damage is maximum and I don't have to roll for it. Let's fucking go! Yeah. So that'll be 8, 16, 24 thunder damage to everything in that circle. So I think that kills the mm -hmm. eggs and hits the creature. The eggs will All for 24. Wow. Oh, that's why you were asking about the body parts. Got it. Yes. Because it got like its hind legs and stuff, and I wonder if it had a hitbox. Yeah, it's it's a technically not that big of a token, but screw it. It's a fun creature. We're going to do it. Uh, so thunder damage hits the creature, and she kind of looks back as she kind of gets rocked by thunder in her rear and sees her eggs explode, and now she's <laughs> really her mad. In her rear, huh? Hey. Yeah. Thunder from down under. Thunder from down under. That's right. She felt the Fuck vibration up. and now she's excited. Does that kill the two eggs as well? 24? Yeah, yeah, those eggs are definitely dead. Okay. Thank goodness. Empty egg curtain. So we I just have like how... the queen and then one of the xenomorphs? Yes. The, yeah, right now the, the xenomorph stunned. is stunned, thank Don't God, because the queen the is bad enough. Yeah, the, the no, two on the left them. are stunned. Don't touch them. Don't touch what? Don't touch the ones on the left, like yes, this one can. and this and one. This Why don't we touch them? Because they're because charmed. They're, they're charmed. Oh, they're charmed. Okay. We don't have to worry about them yet. It lasts like 10 turns. Right. We got plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even Eridai starting to admit this thing's serious when it Tekken combos me into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Ky Kylar, uh, at again? the end of your Gosh, turn, you mean. as oh, a legendary... Hang on. I'm going to hit it with my hammer as well that I just forgot about. Oh, yeah. You might want to do that. Everything you can. You're going to launch. Seven. The 17 hit. 17 does not hit. Wow. Uh, you're at a, you're at advantage because it's prone. Oh. Oh yeah, roll again. That might help. So I, I slapped this bitch onto the floor. Wow. Oh. Well, no, we didn't. Well, it still didn't do it. Do we have any All hero right. points? Mm. Yeah, yeah, but I, I asked first, so I can't use hero points after he calls it. Correct. Oh, that's right. Give inspiration from the uh, bot. But this is um, good to know. 17. It's probably right, like so she is going to use her legendary um, action to try to spike um, Kylar with her tail. Um, um, now, I've got luck points that I can make it re-roll on a d20. Yeah, you're going to want to because that was a crit. Just for shits and giggles. Rolls. What for the shits heck? and giggles. Let's see what that damage would have been. Ha! Holy, Holy crit. smoke. Holy shit. It's yeah. a good thing that so, you made me re-roll this. Oh, yes. Oh, this, this is why I like. This is why I took luck because even though you crit twice, essentially on every roll, I could just get nah. I can roll a d20 and it automatically Ooh. misses because my armor's 22. So it's like. All right, and I have a hero point, so I will use it. Oh, I forgot about the hero points. Damn. Wow. Uh, so Kylar, you take 33 oh, slashing. Better than the other one. Damn. Three luck points whenever you make an attack roll. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I, I'm, I'm just looking to see if I can only use it once or repeatedly. Does it say like once per turn or something? Uh, whenever you make an attack roll ability. Oh, it's whenever you use one. No, or an attack is made against you. Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah when an attack is made against you, roll a d20 and then choose whether the attack uses the attacker's roll or yours. Um, so yeah, so this is already the second roll. So you can either let it use the crit or use the 21, but you can't make it re-roll the other one. It would be the 17 because it's prone. Mm -hmm. Or 17, yeah. It's not 25, like five, because it rolled, it rolled eight on the golden dice. Yeah, so I was just wondering like, because have you Eve attacked again, right? So I can use another luck point. No, no, it's the same attack. It's the same attack. You just, oh. so you technically, that second dice is yours, and then mine is the crit, 
and then you get to pick which one you actually want to work. Yeah, so it'd be 17. Yeah. Which would miss. Uh, so the, well, it's got the plus eight from the hero point, which won't oh, miss. Oh, yeah. That's, okay. why, that's why he did it, because he's, right. he's a punk bitch. Uh, so 33 <laughs> slashing, and then I need a con save from you, DC 15, to maintain spirit guardians. Or 16, actually, DC 16. No, on the nose. Damn! Made yeah. it, too. Well mm. done. Oh, uh, Eridai, sorry. Uh, I forgot one. On my turn, did I ask, did she make a... F she needs to make a... Did I roll that thing for... Yes, you rolled a six. For the spores? Yeah, but when she first charged me, we would have been a fresh batch. Oh, so she needs another one? Uh, okay. Time's bad. Time bad. I missed the time anyway, so... If it's... Well, if it's not no, a May, I'll do it. Yep. Nah, it was it was when she first charged me. That's when it would have kicked in. It's, I've missed the timing. I'm not gonna backtrack. Uh, that I'm gonna uh, as well. What is it? Oh no, she's not within five feet of me. Never mind. All right, Talaron. Okay. Um. Yeah. Move here. I just want to see how far away I am from it. Okay, thirty-five feet. So I should be out of tail swipe range. Uh, I'm going to transfer for my bonus action uh, hex to it. I'm going to hex its strength. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And and I'm going to blast the crap out of it with Eldritch Blast. Uh, it's still an advantage, right? Because it's still prone. Correct. Yes, yeah, prone. All right. So for my first roll, yeah. uh, 26. So that would be a crit. Ooh. Nice, nice. Yeah. You got a crit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that would be a lovely 15 points of damage on that first roll. You got it. And the second Eldridge Blast, also at advantage. What did I just do? Uh, 14. Uh, I'm going to use a hero point for that. Uh, to get to 20, so I believe that should still hit. A 20 does not hit. Ooh, 20 does not hit? Wow. Okay. What were you targeting that a 20 missed? The queen. It, the um, queen. Wow. 20 okay, missed. So legendary oh. creature really buffed its, its attack. It's, yeah, it really did. Oh, wow, okay. Cool. Well, 17 didn't hit either, you recall. I think that's, uh, well, you guys haven't rolled an actual attack roll since then. It's all been oh, saving throws. Right. Yeah. Uh, that is it for my action. I'm going to stay put. All right. I'll take cover. At the end of your turn, I notice that Flit has 36 hit points. I don't like that number, so we're going to tail swipe her. Mm-hmm. 19. Ooh, I don't know if that actually gets you. It does. 33. That seems to be a very popular number. Uh, 33 to Flit. This mm -hmm. might be the most damage Flit's ever been. No, this is the lowest I've ever been, so... Face yeah. Snugger is still charmed. Flit's turn. Um, we should definitely uh, move as I will, far away from that thing I will, as possible. Yeah. But I'm very angry and I need to hit it first. <laughs> uh, before you do that, Flit, keep in mind, you are within its reach. So if you tried to move without using an action to disengage, it can take an attack of opportunity. Really? Wow. Okay, I thought... What's this fucking I reach? Yeah. 20. 25. Yeah, yeah, 20 feet. And it's a massive hitbox already. So it hey, wait, wait, this snap. is not fair. From where his butt is, it's. I'm not within 20 feet. I'm sorry. That doesn't count. Yeah, yeah but to be fair, it's from it would be the length of its Hang entire on. body. There's a pillar in the way as well. Does that mean that's I a, have that kind of reach? That's a that's a pot. Yeah, I think the I'm the same size as this thing. thing. Do I have no, that kind of reach? No, but what I'm saying is where its butt is, it's 35 feet away. That's not fair. So in 5e, e, well. the token. First <laughs> of so technically she's a token, right? So you gotta imagine battle moving all the time. She's not always facing down like that. She can. Uh, so which way is she facing then? Not towards Close us. Close enough to whip you it with her tail. Yeah, as long as the box is in, within 20 feet, she can do it. Um, yeah, from the head to you with 20. Does that mean that I have a reach of 20 feet? Do you have a massive tail? Uh, yes, it was at disadvantage, mm. Frost, but that it was a double sorry. 19. Actually, you guys can see it. Yeah, it's a double 19. Yeah, it's a double um, 19. I'm Actually, gonna... might be a bigger token than she is. I'm the same size token as she is. Oh, okay. 
think. Let me just see. I might have to do something else. Might get mummy buddy to draw well, an you're attack. On, and you're then on then. three HP, so disengage. Your other probably. option, yeah. Flip, to help you out a little bit. No, uh, I'm just you, looking at you, one of the other right, other spells right now. Well, I'm just letting you know your other option. You don't have to use your ferret to deal damage. If you hit her, you can use the ferrets to move you ten feet away, and that'll be force movement, which won't promote the attack opportunity. Uh, oh. oh, I, I didn't even think that. Useful. So ten but then, feet. Then you can't use the ferrets to do damage. That's the only. That's fine. That's fine. I wasn't even thinking that. Um, because you said it. Uh, so then I move with my ferrets. Oh crap! Eee, too many bombs. I'll heal you. Also. Oh no, shit. I I'm not. Huh? I'm not Wait. gonna retcon oh, it, but uh, Talaron, while he's uh, ranged attack on a prone creature, is technically disadvantaged, so you wouldn't have had advantage. Uh, oh, okay. Just for, just for going forward. Okay, so then, um, uh, actually, I move here, Whoa. and then with you, the you ferrets. You want to end the turn behind cover? Well, with the ferrets, I will. I will. Um, and then I will use. Now you do have to hit her first, so make sure you hit her before you move. Oh my god! Okay, so and then I don't move, <laughs> and then I hit her using. Oh god! She's never been this low. She's so stressed. Uh, do yeah. I have advantage or disadvantage? Because you said that Talaron with a range doesn't have advantage. You you have straight roll because you would have advantage, or no? Because okay. your range is disadvantage, right? So it's disadvantage. Okay. Does that hit twenty four? Uh. Sorry, disadvantage. Get the roll again. Take the lower of the two. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Unless. Yeah. I have to give myself an arrow back. That sucks. Oof. Oh my god. Unless you want to use a hero point. Uh, um, no, because uh, that would be 15. No, I would use a hero point. Never mind. No, I'm with here. Uh, six. Does that hit? What does that give you? Uh, 21. 21. 21. That hits. Okay. Uh, 21 is the box, boys. Well, we haven't. Have you tried 20 yet? And it didn't hit, yeah. right? Yeah, I hit. I hit with a 20. <clears throat> I'm you hit it with a 20. Seven with poison damage. Oh, I although I know 20, it's not going to hit. Oh, yeah. We don't know if that will hit. Uh, add damage with the poison. Oh, 16. It's immune to poison. Um, oh, I hope so. But you did hit it, and uh, now you get to go backwards. No, nope, I feet. have two hits. I have two hits. That'll hit. Straight attack, jerk. Nice. Okay. And then uh, I will use my ferrets to disengage. Well, not disengage, move. And then I still have how much speed of movement? And you did piercing damage, yeah? Um, um, all right, so anything so. within five feet. Uh, which is just Ezra at the moment. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, DC 21. Goodness gracious, because it has acid. I'm like a full 10 feet away from the injury. I'm still taking these saves. Go down. Uh, you said this thing is a pot, not a pillar, right? Uh, yeah, no, like, the square thing is, is a pillar. Yeah, it the is square a thing's pillar. a pillar, the little round thing's a pot. Oh, okay. So then I will oh, move fire. over here then. Okay, I've got to point out, I have to roll an 18 to pass this save. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you have a hero point you want to use before I proceed? Uh, yeah, I'll use it in a second one. No. That'll get you there. So you take half instead of full of 66 acid damage. <clears throat> what? Oh, 66 D6. I heard 66. Oh, yeah. So 25, 66. 12. 12. 12. Take 12 uh, acid. I Mocking lord. Yeah, I had to freak out there for a second. <laughs> it's still still 25 oh, damage. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. half of that. Well, it's better than 66. Yeah, 66 would be pretty bad. Uh, good job, Flipped. This creature is still charmed. Um, legendary action. This thing will tail whip at Kylar. A disadvantage. And it's out of legendary actions for this round. After this, uh, 16 miss. will not hit. Sweet. Onway. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, Onway. Yep, Phantasmal Killer on it. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
So, does this creature get one reaction a turn, or is it one reaction on each of us? It gets one reaction a turn, but so you'll, you never fight a legendary creature. So a legendary creature gets basically interrupt actions, three of them around. So at the end of it can pick it at the end of any creature's turn to use the legendary action. Yeah, I, so, was, I was just wondering, like, if I moved, would it still be able to like attack me like it could have done on Flit or has it not no, used that yet? No, the reaction's already been used. So her reaction okay. and all three of her legendary actions are gone. Right. For this turn. On a failed yes. save, target becomes frightened with some saving throw. 4d10 psychic damage. I'm cast at level 4. Alright, we're gonna try it uh, straight with a wisdom. I just picture it's like something I told you about in passing from my people's history and just an EDF fence with a pile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, it does pass the wisdom. Uh, you're well, do you take a disadvantage on the wisdom? Because remember, it's hexed. Even well, oh, yeah. they, they did strength, but even if they didn't, uh, it's twenty-one and twenty-two is what's rolled. Gotcha. Damn. We're trying, so, okay, Rudai. We're trying. Yeah. I, know. I can't use anything. Could, could you use silvery bobs to debuff it? Uh, not in the same turn. Oh, oh, Actually, two level spells. Two level spells. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, no, I don't think so. Such a no. stupid thing. Five is the worst. Um, <laughs> you, yeah, I know. Two, I know. No, two spells. It was 1920. Yeah. I can't imagine a world where a, a wizard could cast two spells. I mean, you're still doing better against this one than you did against the editor, 10. which decapitated Talaron on turn two. <laughs> yeah, that thing was really good. Wow, that this was nasty. Like the, this is like the first big encounter that Talaron hasn't spent his time on the ground. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> why he's hanging at the back. By the he's like, I love walls. my life right now. <laughs> um, um, hmm, just a bark inspiration. He doesn't, need it. Animal, he doesn't have it. Sorry. I might need it this time around. Yeah, well, well yes, Master. Is so we can find out how useless the actually is now. I got my ass kicked. Oh, like go. a source girl. Well, like, I didn't do shit. shit I'm trying to like rock drop this insane psychic damage on um, this shit and work. Bug. Okay, well, we're leaving the charm things alone, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry, right. the lay of this fucking room. For now, just because they're not going to be immediately. I'm not sure how much help they have, otherwise, I'd nuke it. We're going to run up on this bitch. It, it, we'll get right in her fucking stupid alone, ass you know. face. Yeah. I know she's already going to be immune to stunned. It's because I could do like a guaranteed 30 plus 5d6 on it, but I don't know whether it'd kill it. Yeah. I know it's immune to stun, right, Aruda? I don't know. You haven't yeah. tried yet. 100% definitely immune to stun. Try and pin right, it down I'll, so it can't. I will up. use a uh, bonus action to activate Form of Dread. Kira's fingers and everything get longer, and she gets the creepy, undead, like, gaunt look on her face. I'll go up to 11 extra hit points. Two, and then, yeah, we'll full round this stupid bitch. Um, let's see how this goes. Is she prone still? She's currently prone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Advantage. I'll take that. 21. Boom. Seven bludgeoning. All right. Let's um, just... So uh, that is cut to three. And why is it cut to three? Oh, she's resistant to bludgeoning damage. And even if it's magical, even if it's magical. Mm. Uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as well as Ezra. Uh, and then also oh, stunning damn. strike. Let me just see what happens if I use stunning strike. Yeah, I made that save from the fucking easy point. Uh, all right, let me make my con save. <laughs> You're gonna make me use my only one, aren't you? Oh, yes, no, actually, know. actually, I don't have to do that. I got my, I don't need to use my super. I got legendary resistances. Um, yeah, but she can so... only take so many of those a day. And actually, Rudai, she actually has to make a save before she has to make that one. Which she has one? to make a save. She has to make a, a wisdom saving throw to avoid becoming frightened. Oh, okay. I'll make that one too. No. That that's one fair. I might end up having to use my super on. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Does that pass? A 15? Um, it's hold on. It's well, you figure that out. I'm gonna roll my 66. Yes, it does pass. All right, so I'm not frightened. 
Uh, you don't get stunned, and it's 15 acid damage. If you pass, it's only 7. Uh, so you both pass, you both take 7 how much is my hit points? Um, okay, so she took that hit, right? You said? Yep. And then she, uh, resisted. Cool. And then she also made, she didn't use her legendary resistance on the wisdom saving throw, correct? No, she used it on the, um, attempt to be stunned. Those bitches are going to refresh here in a second. Unless. All right, 29. Boom. Hit. Uh, stunning strike. Okay. I don't need a deck save from you and Ezra again. Are you going to need another one, you said? Yeah. Nice. Every time every you time hit her, hit she this. splashes acid. Yep. Every, every time we hit this, come on, she's going <clears> to <throat> be a stupid <throat> bitch about it. At least reduce this. Yeah, I can't even make that save on a... Yeah. We'll use a ah, damn. We'll use, super inspiration use, for the 24. We'll use a hero point for that bitch. Oh, damn. That only gave me a 12. Well, let's use a hero oh, point fuck. for that bitch. It's a natural go. one. It's a natural one. I can't use my <laughs> super. <laughs> <laughs> we got her. So, Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got her. 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 Uh, and you guys take 66. Jeez. Uh, for 26 acid. I'm unconscious. Each. Or what's half of that? I'm unconscious. I'm zero. 13. Now, if you pass, you take 13. Ezra goes down. Okay. All right. And then I'm really sorry about this, Ezra. Fuck. I wish you were not next to It's that okay. Guy. Shit happens. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... If he I takes keep... damage while he's down, he'll take two death saves. Fuck it, do it. Fuck it, we ball. Uh, no, I'll heal all of you on the next turn. Okay? Well, also, I'll actually, on that, that second hit, I'll, I'll push her five feet back away from me, too. Um, Oops. I've got eight, I've got roughly 35 eggs in one in Onway's pack that I didn't tell her about. Hatch one of those and eat it up. What? <laughs> I was what? carrying the, sec the, the batch before we met the party. Oh, yeah, right. Actually, I, I didn't know that. Hold on, let me double check this one thing real quick. I want to make sure I read this correctly. So we, we just end up with a load of baby Ezra's running around. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, oh, those horrible. are all together into a full one. <laughs> if you expose it to a ghost, they will age up to adulthood instantaneously. Half of them roughly um, will die in the process, though. They have to live 30 years. <laughs> Ezra 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> This is a card tree of like eight gigantic. He's like the master. He just keeps coming back and getting resurrected yeah. over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right. Well, that's what I can do for this turn. So I'm gonna I'm trying to think here. Okay, Kyler's okay. Yeah. See, Ezra's down. Flits down. I, I'm not down. Or, or okay, Flits hurt. Flits on three. Flits. Yeah. Oh no! I, I then I have yeah. temp hit points. I've just I forgot don't... to use them. Yeah, I don't want to full get full rounded by this bitch, so I'm gonna um, cure like uh, funny hops over the top of her and moves over here to the back of the room. Your movement speed even now surprises me. It, like you've had it all the time, but to see it is well, it's even worse <laughs> now than it was before. Yeah. Well, normally whenever you run, you're like out of my line of sight, so I never get to appreciate just how far you've gone. Yeah, it just seems like a long way. Yeah, 55 movement speed, just her regular movement. That's wild. Crazy. It's not even without. She hasn't even taken like the other thing. Uh, there's like a mobile or another feat I could have taken to make her faster. But yeah. Um. But yeah. So all right, I moved over to the other side of the room. Hey. Uh... I'm hoping she'll chase me. So, so this will take spirit guardians for seventeen. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, actually, it might survive if I pass. Let me see. That's a wisdom save. Yep. Nope. Pretty sure dead. her legend. I think her legendary resistances re up every round, every turn, too. Resistances don't. Legendary actions no? do. Oh, good. Okay, cool. So we've got her down to one, so I can fucking yeah, pull around in the next round. It should be done. Three resistances a day, but the legendary actions keep re upping. Yeah, I don't worry about that. She's going to get stunned the next time I attack her, so it's fine. Yeah. Go ahead. 
strike me um, down. If I come back, it'll be as an artifice, and I'll get the laser pistol in for that ammo. <laughs> uh, she's gonna get, she's gonna get full rounded, and then it's gonna be over anyway. She's gonna get stunned, and then we're just gonna curb stomp that bitch. Uh, be careful, mommy, mommy buddy. Wrap my caucus around her head and suplex her. Mummy buddy is going yeah. to attack the queen. Flick's like... last order was to not put himself in danger. Yeah, I, I told him not to go near, near it, and he's like, oh, range okay. attack if possible. Uh, Does he have any, like, I don't know, he healing does have spells to be useful? He has longbow, so he'll use a longbow. Yes, when it's my turn, I'll use healing spells. And, 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 <laughs> and stay 20 feet away, decide. <laughs> uh, oh, but she's prone, so he's got to do one more. Uh, so he will not hit. Does he get multi-action for that, though? Uh, he does. So he'll do one more longbow attack at disadvantage. Uh, that one will hit though. Yay! Good job, mommy buddy. For three piercing. Um, which does cause acid splash. But Kiora is gone. Um, and there's nobody. Oh no, Ezra. Ezra, you'll take one failed death save. No, and that's just oh. a hammer. It was, I don't know if it was worth that. It was worth it. Okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the queen so more... is upset. Hmm. Aww, poor thing. What she gonna do? Uh, is it the queen? So she needs to take spirit guardians. Yeah, she needs to take a wisdom yeah. save. Which doesn't he have a disadvantage on that, too? It's only 14. Not on a wisdom, no, but it doesn't matter because I got a nine. Well, I thought uh, Hex made her Yay! have a... Yay! No, they chose great. strength. They chose strength. Yeah, so she yeah, gets oh, that's strength. right. I was yeah. I was going to choose wisdom for my Hex, and I didn't do that. That's why. That's I keep getting confused. That's fine. Uh, so 14. She takes 14 <clears throat> radiant. She is now officially bloodied. Oh. Oh, oh good. Yeah, she's fucking dead. Yeah, it's over now. Um, ooh. I'm gonna full around that bitch, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stun her ass right to the floor, and she's gonna be done. She's going to take a tail strike at Kylar. Mm hmm. Uh huh. She's gonna get full rounded. Is what's gonna happen. She got 14. And uh, that's not gonna one. do it. It's a natural one, so that won't hit regardless. Uh, yeah, baby. She's going to attack Ezra, picking him up to rip him in half. Uh, oh, I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> it's it's called a uh, coup de gras. Coup. Yeah. Technically, they don't have coup de gras in 5e anymore, which is really so stupid. Great. But yeah, yeah, coup de gras doesn't yeah, exist anymore. Two, two failed saves, so if it yeah, hits but you me, have to make them do enough damage. Yeah. So she, uh, she bishops him, basically. She tears him in half and then stomps forward towards Kylar. So wait, wait, does he? Isn't this basically two failed death saves at this point? Yeah, we'll need one down. Okay. That's okay. So, as long as you and pass. Kylar. Oh, no, no, I already took a failed one from Mummy Buddy's attack. Yeah, so you're at two de failed death saves. Uh, oh, no, two. he's right. Yeah, that's three failed death saves. Because it's Wait, a is he dead? Is it three? He is deceased. <laughs> Well, Ezra is. Anway's just like celebrating half. right now. Anway's <laughs> <laughs> free! I'm uh, so sad. So we want to feel bad, but we also know that we avoided. Lock. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we know that we avoided a much worse fate with him being alive. So. <laughs> oh, it's a dad. You say that. You say we got that. A miracle hey, for the party. Miracle for the party. Right. It came too late. Um. Unless you're gonna be nice or die and just let it happen. Well, it's temp HP anyways. It wouldn't have. Well, he, yeah, he's already dead. Um, yeah. But you each oh, get a hero for real? point. For real. You do be like that. No you way. guys have spells to bring people back if you survive. Um, do they work on monstrosities, what though? Because most yes. of them are quite to do? Oh my as god. As long as you classify as a creature, yes. I Congratulations on where you're unemployed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to to the door door office where I found you. Just Develop a personality now. No pension. Uh, you guys don't understand that he was literally going to take over the world with his egg spores and make it yes. worse than anything that we've experienced. Yeah. Yeah, he was going to eat us at some point. It's probably better this way. 
<laughs> you would have been, been allowed to rule over the like the uh, the. Uh, I think you would have allowed me to rule over anything. Yeah, yeah. You guys could be part no, of the you, you where everything's made of spiders. Yeah. I mean, uh, Kylo would have been fine with that as long as he was willing to also permanently kill Oral. It's just like that's the only thing that happened. Holy Tyler, shit. you take I fifteen slashes. Really high Tyler, but oh, wait. Well, if it's hitting me, then uh, I'm gonna roll a luck point as well. Because. Oh shit. Okay. So you get a one. Oh. Uh, I think either way, I'm getting you. Chat, okay. you did this to us. Just remember. Oh, you rolled for me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, uh, I get a one. So I get a one. Us. All right, that'll miss then for sure. Um, and if you hit, try and hit me again, I'm gonna roll another luck point. Well, I can't uh, because I, I already say... used uh, my tail and my claw attack, and you just did okay. that. So for this round, I cannot. Uh, I'm right. He's good. gonna pick over the world anyway. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell everybody. Like, yo, it's I already won thirty five minutes ago. Uh, Revivify on Ezra. Which I need a diamond for, but I do have. Well, I've got. I think I've got. I've got three diamonds, so I'm not down to Now you do have to. Well, it doesn't matter. It's only two squares. So you, yeah, you do have to go touch us, Yeah. Oh, there you go. Put my legs back on first. Oh. Never. <laughs> never mind. Amway, you're not free anymore. I want to revive fibers to just hold your legs. Uh, so that's that. Then uh, I'm gonna hit him with the Ooh. hammer. What? Have I done something stupid? No, I'm just reading this. Can't return to life a creature that is missing. Oh. I can't restore body parts. Um. Wait, so he brings in like missing body parts? Legless? I just tore him in half. But you, you know, know what I'm gonna, gonna do? Gonna keep them oh, I still have whole limbs. Like I, I can, I can cut that little piece of around him. Yeah. Like a wheelchair. <laughs> he is representative now. Don't worry, don't worry. He's become D.I. Uh, I'll just use my lower leg. My lower leg. That wheelchair. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no. you to You're about to become the wheelchair. He just brings him back without any legs. Uh, I've still, I've still, I've still got lower arms. I just am built like a dwarf now. Can you like, if you're a bloodman, can't you just like regrow a lens? Not until the next time I'm all... Damn it, okay. what is it fucking called in this goddamn game? They have so many stupid names. Here what we what go. Called? I found it. Found it. <laughs> I found it. Uh, roll a d20 for me, um, Ezra. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we're just in line with how well I've been rolling, with the exception yeah, of that cool. one grapple. On these rolls, I'm never sure whether low right, is good so, or bad. Uh, instead of being ripped in half Darth Maul style, your leg was ripped off, so one of your legs is gone. Oh. But they can restore. Oh, well, you're like you. Mark the Cyborg now. <laughs> you can just get on the way, to be, like on the stump. Just like Adorable. walking around. Uh, so I will put what this <laughs> means for there. you in chat, and I'll let you figure that out as we go. Uh, but you are back. You are not dead. Good job. Yay! I mean, uh, oh. and you have one hit I mean, point. Yay! One. <laughs> and you're prone. Oh, great. Right next to the Xenomorph. Please move me away yeah. from the Xenomorph so the next time kill me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, immediately, are you? Uh, yeah, that's true. I wonder if Talaron or oh someone can drag him I, I away. I probably should have waited <laughs> until, like, it fully died. And then picked you up. It could, maybe, yeah. <laughs> should I get a one It's done. Yeah, I, hadn't, I hadn't planned that far ahead. <laughs> Uh, let's see. At the end of your turn, legendary action, tail strike against Talaron. Ah, son of a bitch. I thought he was going to do a low blow and hit Ezra. Yeah, I, I'm, I explicitly yeah. said I'm pretending to be dead, so just in case. Well, either one of those were no magic. Is she ain't got no 28. 28 yeah, slashing as the tail that. whips into you. Your turn, Talaron. Yeah. Okay. Fuck that um, bitch. Oh, actually, no, we gotta move out. Uh, Ezra. Uh, oh, and forget. you can take we uh, we get Ezra. 10 hit points, I forget. Yes, you do get your hit points, Ezra. You get 10 hit points. Yeah, it might be worth dragging him away, Ezra, dragging Ezra away from him. I think it probably would. Like, are you able to, Talaron, you think? I can. Uh, give me a second. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how many hit points I have left. You just, I'm All right. 
Okay, Doke. Um, I can move up to here, so let's see. Because the other right. thing I can do is I can use gaseous form on Ezra so that he's just gas and he's just... Okay. That's, actually that's not a bad 20. Idea. Um, I, have um, him, I, can so that, I so. would be in line of danger. That's the only thing. Don't worry. I actually have that spell as well from one of my my circle abilities. So dragging him in what is an action, essentially? Yeah, an half action. Movement and you speed. can drag him half speed. Yep. Okay, so which means I can move to there and he's in the square. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how useful oh, that would be next to it. I mean, Kylar can just, after Kylar can go and help drag the rest of the way to. Well, it, it won't matter because he'll die to the acid before way before my turn. Well, how much, okay, first off, how much uh, hit points do you have left at this point? Are you full or? Five. Well, unless you, you use okay. your action to okay. extend your movement. How what would I, no, what, what I can do correct. is I can lay on hands and give him 40 hit points. That oh, that works. Do. Yeah, so I'm gonna use, okay, I'll use my action. I will use all of my uh, lay on hands so you get the spider treatment and you'll get Although if 40. I were you, I would only give him like 35. Only give him 35? Oh, that way you have five chances to revise people, is what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'll give him 35 you, then. It's up to you. No, give him 35. Well, That's Arudai fine. was actually being nice. Yeah. yeah. Unless he knows his damage is going to, his acid is going to be. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, I don't trust you. <laughs> I'd have to, I, would have to max, I would have to max 66 to kill him in one hit with acid. Yeah, but the, it's the fact that everyone's going to be swinging at this thing like it's a fucking backyard brawl. Well, and yes. that's the thing. Mm. Um, I mean, I can do a healing instead for my next turn, though. I, I'm, on my turn, I'm, I'm going to get mad here. I'm um, using gaseous form. Okay, okay. So um, uh, maybe I'll do okay. healing for my turn uh, then. Flip. It might be worth just killing her. So she's bloody. Oh, yeah. I think so she's going to fuck um, us up if she gets too low on health. Mm hmm. So uh, what should I do? Should I hit or should I uh, heal? Smash. Okay. Never pass. Uh, I think uh, that it, it's <laughs> better for you to, to smash because you'll do more damage than I will. Um, so oh, okay. I'll use and you can, okay. And, uh, then I will use uh, my Hunter's Mark, which I already used earlier, but on her and blah, 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 blah. Is, is she still prone? Is it? No. Yeah. No, she's up now. So I'm on a normal roll then. Yep. Um, and I'm going to use another hero point. So I have two left. Okay. Yeah. Nice, um, nice. Eight. All right. Perfect. 15. And, and then I need Talaron and Ezra to make deck saves. Uh, that's oh, a really? Point. Okay. I'm not even bothering with a hero point there. Ooh, 21. That's good. Good job, guys. Oh, all right, so you guys only take oh, yeah, half. 19. Uh, 23, oh so God. 11. 11 acid, um, specifically. Okay, that's um, my turn, I guess. At the end of your I turn, always... she will whip her tail at Kylar. I'm oh. behind the pillar. Let's get cover. So oh, yeah, she can see me from her head, okay. Yeah. It, yeah, it gets very weird when it's like the tail's on the other side. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I tried. <laughs> I'm going to plus two of that bad. Hey, am I going to hit yeah. Kylar to save my life? Nice, Kylar. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. my luck points. <clears throat> uh, this face hugger is still looking at lights. Uh, wait, didn't Flit just go? Yeah, she just went. Oh. I don't know what's going on with your order. Uh, yeah, oh, this guy's the, still looking at lights. Um, uh, right. Yeah, okay, mass healing word. Uh, who, everyone probably needs it, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, Talaron, uh, Kylar, Ezra, and myself need it. it. I'm not too bad. It's for, it's for, what's it for six people, so everyone gets it. Okay. Um, oh. It'll be, I'm gonna up past it. Um, so, do, 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 do we roll or do uh, you roll? Yeah. She, she rolls. Oh, okay. Yeah. So... Plus five. Plus five. What is it? So 16, you mean? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> yeah, ring gag, it's uh, 16. Uh, there's a permanent nipple. Once yes. Down. It's a real shame. My drone can't wake if up. If anybody wants... 
Flit, you feel better, but one full <laughs> strike would probably do all that anyway. I know. Yeah, I know, but it's better than nothing, so... Um, I can heal people with my, then, uh, um... I've got a bunch of potions to... Dump. Yeah, I think, I think that healing's most useful for the acid. So that you are uh, comics. You each got a hero point. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, Ezra's oh. not in the turn order either. He was before me. Oh, shit. Yeah, because he... I think it was before the alien also, as well. Yeah, since uh, I was... Part of inspiration if whoever wants it. I'll take it. I gotta fuck her up this okay. next round. Yeah, you do. No. no. There you go, Bardic Inspiration. I'm gonna smash that queen. There. Yeah. Let me smash. Yeah, let me smash, queen. <laughs> McQueen. Jesus, smash queen. She's McQueen. <laughs> it's basically Jesus a rude eye every time you meet Sebi. Oh, right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kiara, your turn. Hey. Uh, points for Kiora and comics from Dragon Noodle. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. I just let him know. Yep. But thank you. We're gonna, Dragon um, Noodle. we're gonna full round this bitch. We're gonna run over here, and we're gonna fuck her up, real nice, real nice and dirty. See it. Let's uh, let's do a real nice and dirty to her. Um, actually, okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Cause I a throw is still considered an attack, right? Like, like, like if you use a ranged weapon? weapon that, yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Then yeah, Kira will throw her staff first. Hey. Um, and then the, that will mean that the, she has to make a, um, strength saving throw, I believe, or fall hey. prone. So let's see if that hits. Uh, yeah, 29 hits for 14 bludgeoning. And uh, yeah, she has to. Uh, yep. Okay, minus seven. And. Oops. I need Ezra and Talaron to both make deck saves. She make. No, she failed. Okay, so she's prone now? Yep. Perfect. That's good. Uh, so 27 acid damage. Oh, there's a hero point to make that. A... How. How close to her are you? Are like, how far away do you have to be to not get hit by the acid damage? This one. What's the range? Uh, you see it going basically directly around her, so five feet. Okay. Really imagine how much blood it's losing if five feet all the way around her is just covered in acid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so. gets, gets slapped lightly in the face and just hoses yeah. the entire area down <laughs> like, <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> oh no they hit me again it's like fucking Dracula dead and loving it like, it's like where is all this coming from oh I love Dracula dead and loving it oh Kamux isn't here I see alright I'll tell him when he gets back uh, alright so she is prone okay I'll move up to here we're gonna hit this bitch, and now I get advantage on all my strikes again, or all my hits against her, which is what we needed. Um, so you we're gonna, gonna want that. Yeah, we're gonna hit yeah. her. Okay. Hit her real nice. Smack her real good. Twenty nine for seven bludgeoning, and a five foot push her away. Okay. So uh, once again, uh, Kiora, Kylar, and Talaron all make. Wait, aren't saves. they five feet now? What? I pushed her away. Isn't that five feet now? When I know it has to be after. Wait, why am I making a dex? I'm nowhere near. Then why are you pushing her that way? Push her away from this. Or not Kylar, just um, Ezra and Talaron. Oh her yeah, the way. upside down's Bahama, not me. Push her this way, Rai. That's why I got on, on her side. Yeah, five feet away from them. Push her this way. Push her. Oh, come on, come on. Or can push you her push her into the wall and that counts as a, a hit on her? No, face? it doesn't do dam. It doesn't do damage like yeah. that. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure they don't have to make that save anymore when I fucking finish fisting her. Yeah. No, just on this one because they were technically next to her when you hit her. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 19. If you failed. Um, Hold on, I was going to do my hero eight, point. Too. Wait, 9 if you succeed. What is the DC? Uh, 21. Oh, Ooh. Oh, we'll use another fucking, uh, what's it called? Super inspiration, too. Okay, yeah, I made it. Oh, there you go. Cool. All right. I ain't, I ain't about that life. 
Um, all right, so, <laughs> yeah. Use up the rest of my temp hit points. Okay, and then, yeah, now I can uh, I'll f move right back up to her again, and then we'll finish her up. Oh, by the way, stunning strike on that other hit, too. Yeah, that was what we were doing. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, all right. Don't get a natural one, asshole. Asshole? Oh, shit, I did the wrong thing. Uh, well, it's the same modifier, it doesn't matter. Son of a bitch. Um, ha -ha. All right, I'll use the super inspiration to get the 18. And I am out of resources. Um, ooh, that's not gonna be good. Oh, I have Bardic Inspiration, so I'll use that now and add a D8 to my roll. Fucking shit. And I'll use a hero point too. Okay, that hits her. Bitch. 12 bludgeoning, stunning strike. Okay. Uh, minus that. Then I need to make a deck save. No, that's right. I made it. Uh, so you take 11. That's good. And she's got to make a con save. Um, I'm going to tell Mummy Buddy to disengage further away uh, from her. Anway, if you want to use your silvery barbs, that would be the time to give her disengage. I can do that, yes. I can do yeah. that. Um, silvery barbs, then. Hey. Is she stunned, or did I? About to find out? I hope so. Ah. No. Okay, well, we'll hit one last time. Well, wasn't the time. But you do get to, the, don't forget the second part, you get to give somebody advantage. Right, um, okay, who would like it? Who's next up? Let's see. Give it to Kylar. Fuck yeah, me. Kylar. Or, or Ezra. Advantage. No, that's one. Um, sure. alright, this will be my last hit on her, I believe, yeah. Oh, cool. 28. And then Stunning Strike. Four. I need you to make a deck save. Yeah. Why did I not make a deck save? There we go. Yep, made it. Uh, so you take 12. Okay. And... Con save. God fucking damn it, this bitch. Didn't you give it Hex to give it disadvantage from these? No, she gets this man a strength save strength. throws. Strength. She make why is she making two saves, by the way? What do you mean? Because it pops up as two saves here. I'm seeing 27 and 15. Oh, creatures just always roll. Wrong? Yeah, creatures always roll two. And if they have advantage, you take the greater of the two, disadvantage, lesser of the two. Regular, just take the left. Okay. So does anybody have the ability to give her disadvantage on this roll? No. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. All right. Well, then that's that was the... very Canadian of you. Yeah. No. That was pretty Canadian. Oh, I do have I a little idea on these. Um, <laughs> you have the entire team, and you're like, no, not me. First, I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll like Bob's um, Oh, hi. I'm trying to think. Is there you anything met? else I can fucking do here for her, for you guys, to make her? Oh, also, she does need to make a wisdom saving throw to, or else she's frightened. Ooh, frightened. that could be advantage. No. advantageous. Unless she's immune to frightened, but... She's oh, no. not, Do but she Do have feelings? Mm. All right. Um, two, two. Okay, so we do that. And then... Fuck, y'all. I'm gonna. Is she in my spirit guardians or not? Because Kiora she, is so massive, I can't actually she's see. She's not. She moved her out of it. Right. My bad. Um, That's fine. I will. She's gonna have. To, she has such fucking range on her. That's not gonna matter. But I probably should. She goes after mummy buddy, right? <gasps> Horror host, thank you for the gifted membership. Yeah, thank you, horror host. Damn, you fucked up my ability to hit Kylar. You suck. Yay! Yeah. I've still got another look Suck for you. it, Arudai. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna move to. Hmm. <laughs> I tease. 
Hold on. Let me see if that's out of her range. Five, ten, ten. Okay, I'll move right here. Just out of her range. Yeah, you're so massive you can't actually hide behind pillars. No, no, <laughs> but we'll move out of range because I want her to come towards me. Um, Alright, that'll be my round. Uh, at the end of your turn, she will use her last legendary action. Uh, I was really wanting to use that on Kylar. Um, oh. <laughs> Suck it. She'll do it to Talaron. I was going to say, she's going to end up using it on me. Listen, this is like the first major battle. You haven't <gasps> been on your back the whole time. Wait, does that hit? I don't yeah, think it no. hit. I no. love seeing no. that on his back. That misses. Oh, that misses. Hmm. Yep. It doesn't, you know. Hmm. It's awesome. <laughs> you know. Uh, Mummy Rikada. Buddy will continue <laughs> shooting. I like how Rakeda's become a verb. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like Mel it's like Melanie Mac. <laughs> yeah. He does get with Mac. one. Mac. <laughs> Uh, dealing eight Big piercing. Big Mac attack. <laughs> nice. All right, it's her turn again. She stands back up. Oh, wait, shit. He didn't hit because she was prone. Never mind. What? Does anybody have a hard out at four? I don't. I'm going to have to leave it no, by 430. But yeah. Uh, we're fine. Because you guys are pretty close. So if you don't mind going over, <clears throat> then we'll go over. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, fine. It's all good. Um. Hmm. I could either leave right now and run over and just full out attack flip for fun, or. Why are you? I'm so surprised you haven't earlier. To be honest. I feel so targeted. Aww. Like I actually couldn't get to you in one turn to heal you either. No, it's all good. Mm -hmm. It's because he. Uh, I, I need a I'm behind guardians. a pillar, so he probably forgot what? about me. Well, this no, is no, why no. when I was like, no, don't run that way, and you just went even further that way. It was well, like... well, you got some of that. You got that healing that I gave you, right? The two d six, two d four. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Okay, so that was good. So we got some. Um, oh, spirit nothing. guardians. I need a spirit oh, yeah, you guardians roll. Spirit guardians. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good roll. Nice. Yeah. Suck it. Uh, and I got a 15, which means I failed. So, ooh, yeah. Ants X-Ray Girl said the queen is sucking it. Um, she's not now she's great. in range of all of us at this point now. What the fuck? Heavy with you. That's awful. That's the worst. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> wow. I don't know, Aruda, you really should have just it. gone for me. I don't know why you went that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, because it made more sense. She doesn't even see you over there right now. Um, my Vindictive Heart I mean, wanted to, though. I'm sure All she right. would have watched her run that way. I've got to make <laughs> some difficult decisions here. So, Tail Strike against Kylar. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm hearing is. I mean, I will use a point point I activate there. Sentinel. I'm going to use a hero point. Activate it. 28. Yeah. 8 bludgeoning. Stunning Strike. Shade you got 4. <laughs> Wait, why do you have a 28? Uh, because uh, that activated Sentinel, because she's in range of me attacking and she attacks somebody near me, so. But well, why do you have advantage? If it hasn't hit, though, she missed. Oh, because I use a hero point, or I use a, a super inspiration. Okay, got it. Um, yeah. All right, so you used it. Oh, god damn it. Stupid yeah, that was my last point, though, so I am out of them. Uh, all right, well, there goes that. Uh, I'll use a claw attack on... Uh, did you make your roll to not get stunned, buddy? Oh, I didn't know you did a stun. Yeah, yeah stun he said strike. Slang strike. Come on now. If we make it out of this, can we throw a bucket of this acid and scrub and scrub his face? Yeah. Give him the old London hello. <laughs> <laughs> yep, good on that. God damn it. Oh, that Happy was good. Uh, gonna do a claw strike on... T uh, she'll do one on Talaron. Yeah, that's good. Ahead. You take 18 slashing and you are grappled in that claw. And then Oof. she's going to hit um, Ezra with the other claw. Don't hit the other ones to yet, continue though. To, it, to pretend to be unconscious or dead. I'm sorry, what did you say? 
Uh, I was at that time pretending to be dead, and as far as you can can tell, she ripped me in half. Would I? Would oh, I okay. A... Then this will just go for um, tell her on again. Why I not? Can, I can roll deception if you like. Make it even. Uh, so twenty three show... slashing to tell her on. Yeah, well, thank you. Would have made me like massively what it is to put I got an extra. I got an extra. <laughs> wait, that's too kind. Enjoy. And then, because you are grappled as a bonus action, she can use her proboscis on you as well, Teleron. Ew. Proboscis. Oh, <laughs> uh, so a 26. You have to make the alien queen cute. Yeah, proboscis. 26 damage, or uh, is that the attack? Two hit. Two hit. Okay. Oh, oh, it's nice also the damage. damage. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. Is Teleron <laughs> it's, it's like you're a psychic. Uh, that's all she can do. Ezra. Okay, from my point prone. Blight. She, uh, she let me, uh, she thinks I'm dead, so I can just kind of scooch over here into this, into this, somewhere stealthy, uh, somewhere within this fucking colossal goddamn air she thinks in. What, does she not have a reaction? Here. She doesn't she see does. you. She but, but he can I'm... disengage. Oh. Uh, fuck it. Oh, if, she's, if she's going to react to me, I'm just going to go for it. Blight. She's going to make me a con save. Blight! Con save. Kate. Uh, upcast this as well. What's the effect of upcasting this bad boy? Because I very rarely use this spell. Yeah, an extra mm -hmm. eight. Wow, well, actually, that's really low for you. Um, yeah, it does pass because you pass on the nat five, but uh, enjoy this half of this. Oof, that's pretty damn good, though. 26. Yeah, lots of sevens, mate. Necrotic. Wow, that is heavy duty. Yeah, you see yeah, several parts go. of her exoskeleton just kind of like collapse in from like the, the moisture just leaving the body. Yeah, this is even funnier on plant creatures because they don't get set. They, it does max damage automatically. Oh, they don't they get to make the save at disadvantage. <clears throat> uh, hey! Oh uh, my god, I thought you were yelling my... at me! No, 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 it's <laughs> my dog going after my cat. <laughs> okay, and... He's like, time to eat it! No, does he not realize the cat would win? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna catch a lady well, it's really body. funny because there's a I have a cat tree uh, over here, and she basically ran, jumped up, and like leaped over the dog and ran off. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Incredible. And as my free action this time, I'm gonna retrieve from my from my an organ inside my torso one of the superior healing potions and prep it. My favorite thing about cats is how, how just like instinctually they will just wall jump, or like they're yeah. in some kind of yeah. action movie. Yeah. I, I love watching, yeah, like, yeah, I'm gonna try, yeah, I'm gonna try I'm, I shall stealth with my move action. Okay. Oh, that's dreadful. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, I'll go inspiration. Pop it. I'll pop it. Fuck it. Yeah, pop it. There you go. She ain't got eyes. 17. Stealth. Mm. All right. Uh, Kylar, you're getting tailed. Miss. Damn. Ah! Yeah. Damn, Damn man. There's one, there's one wow. more if you've got a hero point. It's not That's my fault. actually impressive that he's not hit. Oh, could she make me another con save, please? Because she's, uh, she's bimbling. Or she's making actions in my vicinity. Passes, no, no damage. Uh, Kyla. Okay, so Wait. I'm gonna upcast Guiding Bolt on it. I think. Yeah, because that's there. Uh, I didn't get the option to upcast it. What? Did I choose the wrong thing? I was going to cast it at level... I think it does it when you roll the four. damage. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, and I would have missed. So, uh, super inspiration. Uh, 
26. That'll Hell get yeah. you up there. Nice. Not as high as I was expecting for an upcast that high, but there we go. That's still pretty damn good. So that is... Uh, I can't do math. Why can't I do math? Uh, 23? 23. Well, yeah, I'll yeah. say 23. Plus the next person gets advantage. All right. Um, you uh, hurl this me. light into the creature. And it's like right as she opens her mouth and you see her innards kind of glow with bright light and then she explodes into a ball of acid. Oh, uh, that that uh, sounds bad. That sounds really that sounds bad. bad for Talaron and Ezra. Yeah. yeah. Was, yep. you, this might be a big explosion, though. This is a 10 foot range, which I think only oh, gets, still gets two of you. Oh, actually, no, it gets Kylar too. It gets Kylar too. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. So I need you all to make dexterity saving throws. Also oh my Kiora? god, you know what I've been doing wrong this whole time? Oh, it does Kiora. get Kiora. Yeah. yeah. But I don't I, I don't take damage from dexterity saving throws if I make them. And I've made all of them. I shouldn't have taken any of that fucking damage. Idiot. Well, you know what? Your fucking <laughs> alien yeti is dead, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to the gen And I made it, so I'm not taking any of your stupid there. damage. Um... Is that actually dead? What's the save we've got to make? The next. same 21. Dex oh, save. fuck. I'm going to super oh. inspiration that. So it, I'm it's gonna okay. I, I'm going to aid you guys in a moment, so don't worry. Oh. So, what was it? Two 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 was that right? uh, no, but we don't have to worry about them. It explodes in a massive ball of acid, and so you've got to make the deck. Would it be a massive explosion if I've just dehydrated it with blight? Uh, I think so. Cause it's, yes. Ooh. Just what I ask, just in case. Yes. I want to give myself back a bunch of fucking there. health that I lost. Actually, all the health I lost was from her stupid acid attacks. E even with a hero point, I couldn't make it. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm scared. Yeah, I didn't take any front. fucking damage that Don't fight. Don't worry, then. I will bring you guys up in just a moment, okay? I got a superior healing potion in my mouth. So. <laughs> just in case you die. <laughs> just pull me up, like, pull me, pour it out into someone else like a cheap decanter of whiskey. So everyone but Mike is taking the full damage. Oh, Five. God. Oh, that's not bad. Damn, wow, did I that roll shitty? One hit point. Oh, it was out of six, and you. How many twos did you roll? That Damn, was insane. Man. Yeah, I. I Damn. That that was basically the only roll that would not result in me falling unconscious. So I'm glad. If, if I was, a, yeah, mm. I would be embarrassed by that roll. Where I... Uh. Man, why couldn't it have been that? All right. Yeah. yeah so you all take eighteen. <laughs> you all take eighteen. Uh, I guess you all survive uh... as she. <laughs> And the encounter is uh, essentially over. I, I, uh, what about the other ones? Well, we I can just, just say, because they're stunned, we can just say, like, we all arrange attacks at the same time and just nuke them. Oh, yeah, okay. narratively, you're either going, going to wipe them or they're going to run. But either way, we're just going to call that the end of the Okay, encounter. well, can I Can I just, this is for me. I just, I need to do this before we leave aid mm -hmm. at level, I don't know, three. This is for me. Um... Tyler or Tyler on and Tyler on and Ezra. So we get some hit points. Nice. I'm, I'm going to share a superior potion to everyone as well. Just How much do those. I get? I think this might be the lowest I've ever gotten a party with flit was at three. Tyler was at one. Ezra was at five and he lost a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just said, uh, don't forget for the, for the space snug. Don't forget to use that magic stone to get rid of diseases and parasites. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, nobody got so, successfully snugged, so. Oh, got lucky so there. how many how many hit points we get back from aid? Is it five? Or? Uh, it'll no. be ten because I upcasted it. Okay. Yep. And yeah. secret of the moon. That's a great idea. Yeah. Cure will like reach in the everyone, mouth. everyone roll uh, basically. Thank you. If, yeah. Who's? Uh, Tell her on the pass one to flit as well. Superior potions of healing. How much is that? Is that almost eight d eight plus eight? I eight d eight. 88 plus 8. Uh, Kira will take check. the... I think, it's 80, I think it's 84. Let me double check. Uh, 84 plus 8, yeah. Kira will take the inner mommy mouth of the alien queen and keep it as a trophy. Oops. I don't know how to do these things. Uh, is that possible? Uh, word I? I hate that number so much. Uh, so is what possible? Mm -hmm. Is there enough of the body left to use the take the inner mouth? Sure, you can pick up the inner mouth if you'd like. 
Oh, well, she takes the inner mommy mouth of the queen, and now it's hers. It's in the background, hitting people with it. Yeah, um, it's I've got my new weapon, so yeah. I can neutralize the rest of the acid. I can't really do it in combat, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I think I I think at least one person deserves a suit of armor out of this bitch. Who's gonna make the armor? Yeah, we're in a town. Well, a random city. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. This is resin. You work resin with alchemy. alchemy. I, I, I really get some fancy swords out of it. I went through all of Morrowind calling it Chitin. It was only later I realized. Yeah, I, I did that for a long time. Yeah. They called it Chitin. Mm -hmm. It's Chitin uh, armor. But uh, somebody finally corrected me and told me it was. I know what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let me move us over. Uh, so insane, guys. That was wild. You guys defeated the last Yeti encounter we'll ever have on Secrets of the Frost Maiden. Sadie's uh, not. It was, uh, it was pretty. It was pretty close. That was a tough one. Uh, luckily, yeah. Chat helped you, and not just me, which really helped. Uh, I think helped you pull through on this because if Chat really hadn't been there, yeah. yeah, he could have been really. Because there's like several rolls you guys would have failed without Chat's help. So, Chat. Thank you, Chat. You yeah. spoil us, truly. Even yeah. though you guys made it happen too. Thank you, Chat. <laughs> <laughs> they give us and Chat cares. <laughs> Chat cares not where the blood flows, and that it flows. <laughs> just all that flows. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. The dice must flow. <laughs> um, for you. But that was uh that was really cool. That was a lot of fun um so well done guys we will be picking back up on the main story last time i saw somebody in chat ask if this is a one episode show it is not it is a whole series uh this is episode 71 we've been going for a long time um and i also saw you asked if you have to watch the whole thing to understand no you don't but uh it would help you understand some of the inside jokes and where some of the characters came from so you can do a little bit of both yeah. you could watch us live and then kind of catch up slowly and uh, see if you meet us there at the end mm. Um, but, uh, all right, cool. So let's go around and everybody can say, Hey, where are you going to be at? Where can they find you? Tag you like, save me for last. We'll start with Disbrew. Uh, yeah, Disbrew on YouTube. We've got Rebel Moon coming up and they've been withholding all the reviews. Uh, it's God. releasing tomorrow, so I'm not sure how long they can actually keep the Can't embargo going. Why. Yeah. But yeah, there's that, there's Valma and the return of Milf Matter all this month. <laughs> it's going to be a great month from now on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, Jesus. And I tag comics. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to Velva because that <laughs> show is such a train wreck. Yeah. Um, you can find me on the um, Twitters and YouTubes at Comics Division. Uh, tonight I'll be streaming at 8, no, sorry, 9 p.m. Central. Uh, not sure what we'll be talking about. Uh, we'll figure something out along the way, but it's usually pop culture related. And I'll tag Bill. Well, I'm Bill Stranger, here, Deep One Bill. You can find me over on Broken Crown on Tuesdays. We are reconvening, I believe, this coming Tuesday. And you can see my back catalogue of first edition Pathfinder games, which the Tuesday game is also on, uh, over on Ritualist89 on YouTube, of which you'll find many hundreds, if not possibly thousands, of hours of content. And I'll pass it over to uh, the missus. Aiden, you got the floor. You're muted, Aiden. And you're muted. Uh -oh. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll be live in about 20 minutes over on um, Broken Crown um, to do this week's uh, this week's uh, news and politics stream because we had to miss it yesterday because I was supposed to be on Tim Pool's show and then they had an allergic reaction and uh, probably should have gone to the hospital, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so uh, in many such cases, <laughs> but uh, not not dying today. So trying to put that out, a hard bastard should be joining us, which will be fun. Never seen his stuff. Um, just news and politics. Uh, I will be trying to finish my video about the Gamergate 2.0 stuff over next week because I'm still traveling, hence the echo. And uh, that's it. Other than that, yeah, weekly stuff on Broken Crown. And then hopefully a new video next week. That's it. And then I will tag Disbrew. Uh, I've already gone. Oh, did you already win? Okay, uh, uh, Echo Girl, sorry. I'm, I'm, oh. My brain's not working. I'm, I'm still like jet lagged. It's as all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Um, you can find me Xray Girl everywhere. I just released a video of some fun moments on Dragon's Dogma 2 where I kill Mark the Cyborg and forget about Shad. So, if you want to see, watch that. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, is that everyone? 
I haven't gone, but that's oh, okay. Epic Mike. <laughs> Sorry, I love you, Epic Mike. It's the glasses. <laughs> it's the glasses making you invisible. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, Epic Mike over on YouTube, youtube.com uh, slash at Epic Mike. I've been doing um, a nightly stream called Late Nights with Epic Mike. Uh, that's been going really well. I'm trying to stream every day. I, I won't be streaming tonight. I got a family thing going on, but yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, I did post a review of Fallout 4 um a really bad review of fallout 4 because the show's something um well it's something uh, but yeah so and yeah i i'm really looking forward to talking about rebel moon so keep an eye over there i'm also over on kick uh twitch and then on x at the underscore epic underscore mike so catch me over there and then keep your eye on uh, epicverse.tv boom and then uh i won't tag the fed i want him to sit in his misery of uh trying to kill us again <laughs> So many more tools for that. Um, <laughs> he wants to use his tools on us. Gotcha. Go ahead. <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, yes, yeah, so yeah. uh, you can find me here all the time. You can also find me on Moonskull. Those are the two places, and uh, they're just basically all week. Um, big things I'd like you to know about. Alien stream this weekend. Going to be fantastic. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, it's going to be so much worse because those uh, aliens are actually very deadly. Um we're going to be doing that at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard on Saturday. Going to have me, Savs, Quarter Black Garrett, uh, Mark the Cyborg. Um, who did I just fucking miss? Uh, God damn it. Ryan. Oh, Ryan Kennel. Ryan. Yeah. Who could forget the diversity officer? And maybe Apparently Steph. You. I, I think Steph uh, might be joining too, but we're, we're kind of figuring that part out. Uh, so it's gonna be a really fun cast. Uh, it's gonna be a really good time. If you like the last one, you're gonna like this one. Uh, second thing, um, next week on uh, Friday, we'll be interviewing Grums. Uh, you'll want to check that out. We're gonna do that in whiskey and wine format with the tabletop edition. Uh, so if you're familiar with whiskey and wine from over Moon Skull, you'll be right at home when we do it here and we interview Grums about the state of tabletop and um, the woke rot that pervades it. Uh, and then last but not least, go join our Gilded guys. You can come talk to me, Savvy, tabletop crew, Basically, everybody here, uh, I think minus uh, Aiden, I think she's the only one that's not in there. But um, no, no, I don't know how to use <laughs> it's all, it's all I'm, good. I'm um, you, you can see us all there. You can tag us. You can say hello. Uh, but the biggest thing is while you're there, you can support Legend Seeker if you want. Legend Seeker is my answer to this woke rot that we're going to be talking about with Grums. I am writing my own role playing game. Um, it's going to be a three book set. And uh, I've been working very hard on it. If you do have to support over there, you'll get uh, priority access to see everything before it comes out. Give me feedback on it and help me shape the game. I am making it for you. All right. I'm not answering to activists or outsiders or anyone else. This is a game for you guys. And I really want you guys to enjoy it. So the more feedback I get from you, the better. Um, and eventually we'll replace 5e with my system and run yeah. that on here instead. So if you want to see that, nice. we got to get over that finish line and... Uh, uh, I look forward to getting uh, uh, seeing you guys over there to check it out. How far are you out with your game? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I am 360 something pages into the player's book, and now I'm putting out the material, basically the spells and the classes and things like that. Um, and then the B series, I'm also working at the same time. The third book is going to probably be a delayed release, is what we're looking at right now, because it's, it's basically a DM's guide, but it's all the extra stuff that a DM would use and mm -hmm. nobody else would. There's plenty enough in the what's called the Seeker's book, the player's guide to run without having the DM's guide. Um, so the biggest hang up is right now the play testing and then getting the art finished. Um, so it Almost really depends. Troops. Yeah. Th those are the ones that hit you the hardest and it really depends on how much support I have. The more, the more support we have, the more art we can turn out quicker because that's our biggest bottleneck. Um, speaking of the art, uh, if you guys didn't see the stream where we brought Effie on here, she's the cover artist for legend seeker. We introduced her and, uh, let you guys meet her. She's going to be doing a stream, uh, a little earlier in the day, I believe, uh, starting up next week. Uh, so she'll be doing the cover live for you guys, making the cover for Legend Seeker. You guys can watch her. She'll be doing that for a couple months. So you can watch the entire process from beginning to ending, what all goes into actually making uh, a quality cover from a, an artist that's really going out there and doing the work. So um, check it out. That's all I got, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you here in a few minutes for Super Chat <laughs> Catch Up and uh, enjoy the credits. We'll talk to you later. Cheers.
Hello, hello, you chat bastards. All right, I took a little extra second there to, to talk to the crew and tell them they did wonderful and all of those things. Uh, uh, they did a great job uh, fighting my really powerful monster. I tried really hard, chat. I, I hope you are impressed by that Yeti Morph encounter. Uh, I wanted to make it challenging for them, and I think I think that I did. Um, but hey, good to see you guys out there. I've seen some names I haven't seen in a while and some new names. We really had a cool crowd coming through today. It was really nice to see, plus a lot of our usuals and our favorites. Uh, so glad to see all of you out there. And uh, we're going to do a little reading of the Super Chats. And usually while I do that, I answer some questions. Um, well, I'm glad that you enjoyed it, X, uh, X Boys and Hayden. And uh, the Mystery 809. <laughs> Don't worry, Warlock, I'm disappointed too. Every time they survive, I really thought I had one of them this time, but uh, that Revivify really helps. But hey, now he's going to either have to have a peg leg or a prosthetic or something, which means if he dashes, he might fall over, which is a pretty fun penalty. Um, but the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. You guys have been hella supportive this episode. Uh, greatly appreciate it. So I'm going to pull up uh, the fan funding tab and read all of these out because you guys did a hell of a lot uh so we started out with <laughs> hey look the fantastic sarcastic i can say your name i just can't type it all right i really did i kind of wish they would put him in a combat wheelchair not because i like them i think they're dumb as hell but just for the meme uh shadow warden 99 for 100 dollars says in power of the yeti morph thank you shadow warden 99 i did and michaela ish for a hundred dollars for the party wow the queen shirt is a simp for the party as it turns out well there's got to be at least one hayden 75 sent a hundred dollars for a yeti morph power up said have fun guys well we did we did have fun and um i'm glad that you did too I'm glad it was worth your investment. Dragon Noodle Soup for $100. Yeti Upgrade. Uh, yeah, you got all five tiers unlocked, guys. You did great. Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming also uh, got some popcorn for us uh, for $1.49. Thank you for that popcorn. Um, and then the Mystery 809 sent 100 Canadian dollars for the party. I have no idea what the situation is, but the aliens need to go. Well, they got rid of them, so... Uh, you helped them out. Honestly, they wouldn't have made it without you. <laughs> they probably would have died if you guys had not sent those supers to help them. They needed those miracles. Uh, there were several roles they would have straight up failed without you guys. Uh, and they were critical roles, too. These weren't like minor roles. Like it made or it would have made or wait, make or break whether or not they succeeded or not. Like if I would have said that in the proper tense, it would have made or broke, which would have sounded dumb. So I just said made or break anyways. OK, um, but thank you. Thank you for that, Mystery 809. The DCV Titan for $100 says, since it is the last Yeti. Yes, the last Yeti went out with a bang, we shall say. And then Dragon Little Soup Gaming dro dropping five Geeks and Gamers Tabletop memberships. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, and I think the people that you gave them to do as well. And then Warlock for 200 of uh, that thing that I can never say correctly. I thought it was shekels, but apparently that's wrong. Uh, another one to a root eye since he still boomered less than SBG's Fallout stream. Uh, listen, the boomerang at the beginning wasn't exactly my fault. I don't really know what happened there. Even the cast was like, what the hell? I was like, man, I don't fucking know. Uh, we talked about it for a good 10 minutes while I was trying to fix it and nobody knew what the hell. It gave me some weird error that I've never seen before from OBS about an encoder or something. And I just had to restart the whole damn thing. Sucked. Really sucked. Uh, Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming for $100. Okay, party gets Miracle, but they have to point and laugh at a rude eye like Epic Mike. That was probably my least favorite super chat of the night. Thank you, Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming, for that, uh, that delight that you sent our way. I know they liked it, and I think chat liked it too. I saw some of you in chat pointing and laughing at me as well. Rude. But then Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming redeemed himself with $100 for another Yeti upgrade. Thank you, Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming. You got us to that final tier. And then the Mystery 809 was still feeling a little sorry for the party and gave one more to them to help them survive. And the Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming came in for $40, giving some points to Kiora and Comics. And then the Horror Host dropping five Geeks and Gamers tabletop memberships. Um, and then last but not least, Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming with $5 
Uh, hero point for the guy that wrote Dragon Noodle Soup for the Soul. Well, that would be you, wouldn't it? Damn, that is some support, guys. That is some massive support from you guys today, and I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Uh, let's see what I missed while I was doing that. Um, yeah, it was one. I, I did not almost say Xbox again. I did not almost say Xbox again. That did not happen. Um, let's see. Can Eggs reach his true ability to make a fake leg? Uh, not his abilities, unfortunately. None of his abilities do that, so far as I can tell. Uh, yes, they are evil murder hobos. They all need to be smited. I agree. Uh, he would have to roll for stairs and inclines. That's true. Uh, I mostly just hate you. No, no, no. You are totally a party simp. You are a simp for the party, Queen Shirt. Queen Shirt Simp Kayla for the party. Uh, it could be like the old school days. Uh, made or broken. Yeah, I was trying to figure out. I said it in a bad tense that I couldn't make it work the way the way the phrase is supposed to work. But, uh, yeah, whatever. I just went with it. Um... <laughs> Warlock says, I'm disappointed in you, chat. Supporter of the party, like support the bugs and helldivers. True, the party is quite evil. I would not have supported them, but that's all right. That's all right. I still have plenty of other toys to crush them with. I will do my best to do right by you, Warlock. Um. Oh, I missed one on the first stream? I don't know how to go back and see that um, without leaving this. So maybe I'll check that in just a second. Uh, oh, okay. We got one from Warlock, Chrysanth, grab it. Okay. Uh, thank you, Queen Shirt Chrysanth. Uh, look at Queen Shirt Chrysanth. She must have her, she must have her glasses on chat. Did you know that she has glasses that are like like this thick on the on the actual glass or like coke bottle glasses times 10 and that she's basically a naked mole rat she can't see without them uh so she kind of like stumbles into things honestly i don't know how she survived without them like she her, she's she's short so she like hits her shins on like the table legs um and runs into things and trips and stumbles everywhere but uh you know when she's got her glasses on though she is on top of her game all the time that is why she got me this uh Super chat from Warlock for another 200 of his currency for Arudai. If he can boomer less than SPG's Fallout New Vegas birthday stream. Well, it turns out that I, I succeeded based on your second one. So there you go. Uh, Frost wants to see the end of the party. Well, there's still time. There's still time. I'm not lying about Chrysanth, the average white suburbanite, suburbanite slob. You want me to tell you a real story about her? She loves the real story about her. Uh, I would be more supportive of their justice being doled out if I wasn't being doled out by the most evil fed in the history of fed them. I am the only thing standing between this evil party and, like, world annihilation, okay? I am I am the hero of this story, to be frank. Uh, see, chat, this is why we bully fed. Why would you bully me? Right? See, she does have her glasses on. See, I told you. I told you. Um, all right, so here's the deal. You see, Chrysanth, one night, she was she was messaging me late at night, being mean, because that's what Queen Shirts do. They just message me and be mean. They're like, mean, 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 bully, 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 mean, 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 mean. I'm just minding my own business, trying to be the honest to God, good fed that I am. And she's just messaging me shit, mean, 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 mean. And then she stops being mean, and she's like, shit. And I was like, what now, Queen Shirt, Chrysanth? And she's like, I left my glasses on my desk. And I was like, all right, go get them. She's like, I can't. I'm a naked mole rat and I can't see. And it's nighttime. If I get out of my bed, I'll never make it. I'll never make it. I'll never make it to the desk, much less back to my bed. I'll fall over the place, probably fall down some stairs, break my neck. Like bad things could happen. And uh, I was like, oh, man, that sounds awful, Queen Shirt Chrysanth. What are you going to do? She's like, I don't know. I I'm doomed. And uh, I was like, well, I guess I'll just have to stay in bed all night. And she was like, yeah, I guess I will. And then she started being mean to me again. But then she had to go to the bathroom, but she couldn't survive to get to the bathroom. So she just had to pee the bed. And, you know, it's uh, it's unfortunate, you know, that that had to happen that way for her. Um, so lesson learned, uh, if you are a naked mole rat, you should always have your glasses with you. It is a disaster to leave them, for example, at your desk. Um... 
<laughs> especially by Lamins. Uh, <laughs> Rudai wants to be giving shit, though. It's his kink. Uh, giving shit? Well, usually people say I like to get shit, but yes, I do very much enjoy giving shit. Um, that is, uh, I will accept that as a kink. I love to, to rip into people and give them a hard time. That's why I, I give such fun intros on these streams. Good and fed don't belong in a sentence next to each other like that. Why not? Why not? Makes perfect sense to me. Oh, because when you got in bed, Chrysanth, it was still daylight. So you were still able to kind of see the blurry outlines and everything. It was like, if you guys squint your eyes together like this or press your eyeballs like this and uh, like see how everything blurs, imagine that times 10. That's what Chrysanth's world looks like without her glasses. But when there's light, she can still kind of make out the blobs of shapes and stuff and she can feel around with her hands at the blobs. And uh, so sometimes she'll be okay. Uh, but when it's night... She can't do that, so it's really, really dangerous for her to walk around without her glasses. Um, Frost says, Chrysanthia, you're a witch too. How could you know that? Uh, Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming at this point, I support Ezra taking over the world. Why? He's evil too. Oh, shit. Um, damn it, where I just lost my fucking place. No! Also, Fed, you think your fake story is funnier than it is. Oh, it is the funniest story ever told. Not because it's fake, but because it's true. Circus Freak says, I'm rooting for world annihilation. The party can take the whole of existence out with them. Uh, yeah, I guess if they perish with the world, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Frost says it sounds like a Sevi level story. No, this is much truer than a Sevi story. Sevi stories are like the most fictional things on the face of this planet. Uh, I tell her a story. My story, I'll tell Sevi. I'll be like, Sevi, uh, I found a loaf of bread sitting on my counter. By the time it gets to you guys, it'll be this whole story about how, like, I went to this grocery store and I fumbled around awkwardly in line and I dropped my change all over the cashier's thing and the cashier uh, tried to help me. We both reached down, we bumped heads and it was really awkward. Then I got back and I put the bread on the counter and I went to open it and found out that I actually bought expired bread. There was already mold on it, but I didn't know that at the time. So I took the bread and I ate it and then there was mold in my teeth. That That's a savvy story, okay? It goes from like just finding bread on the counter to like this insane uh, version of what's going on. And then she'll throw Craigslist in for just for fun. She'll be like, he wasn't paying attention because he was reading craigslist and so then he ate the moldy bread and then there was mold in his teeth because he was too busy looking for a date on craigslist that is a sevy story uh my story was nothing like that um bug man for the overlords is dragon doodles of gaming uh you want an extra an hour whining just be a whammon and give him uh Okay, I can't make sense of that one. Sorry. Fake news from X-Boys. Uh, when did this happen, Chrysanth? This is a few nights ago. You should remember. Um, it does sound like Chrysanth fantastic sarcastic. That is absolutely correct. Uh, I already answered that question, Chrysanth. Clearly the Fed is defaming Chrysanth. No, this is just accurate. Um, I'm not talking about her being naked, Warlock, if that's where your mind went. I'm talking about how she's like a naked mole rat, which is an actual creature in the animal kingdom. Uh, riddle me that, Fed? I don't see a question, uh, so I'm not sure what you riddled. Uh, maybe something got deleted. Uh, it makes sense both ways. Uh, don't press on your eyeballs. You can detach your retinas doing that. True, I did get LASIK too, so... I could probably fuck that up. I probably shouldn't do that. It's a good point. Uh, Hayden is that blind. I used to be that blind once upon a time. I don't know what a bekigs is, Chrysanth. Sorry. Um, Frost, nothing to worry about. Those eyeballs are made of felt and AI generated. Uh, neither. Um, with no repercussions. And then he had sex with the bread. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah, see, Frost, that, that's a savvy story. <laughs> <laughs> women can't make shit up because they don't understand reality well i won't comment on that one because that one might get me in trouble maybe you should stop eating moldy bread man that's not a real story that was an example of what sevi would do if i gave her a simple real story um <laughs> that sounded way too specific and realistic how is that even remotely realistic that is like the least realistic story i've probably ever told and that, that was the point i was trying to make it sound like a sevy story uh but then she would get stuck in the naked mole rat holes true true 
How are them bugs fed? Uh, way to bring the, my spirit down, X-Boys. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm really not looking forward to that. You guys are lucky that you have Sevi here to make me do these things. Because if she wasn't here, I would not be eating fucking bugs. I can tell you that. Um, it will get me into trouble. That's right, Barney. No, no, no. Don't leave your glasses home. Listen, Chrysanth. Listen, you don't have to prove anything to anyone, okay? Don't leave your glasses home for Dallas. Because if you do that, we're going to have to, like, walk you around the whole time. And, man, I don't got time for that. I do not got time for that. And I don't want you to be stuck back at your hotel room by yourself for the entire con. That would be stupid. It'd be a waste of a trip to go down there. So uh, bring your glasses. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, we're not going to make fun of you much. Um, and Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming says, Bread! Well, thank you, Dragon Noodle Soup Gaming, for that enlightening emoji. Wow, I caught all that up. That's pretty amazing. I've got a big brain. Um, I can read my book without them. I'll just have a headache. Uh, I, I don't know about a book. I don't know what you mean there, Chrysanth. That, that was a confusing sentence. I'm sorry. Oh, well, you're already in trouble from what you said in the uh, intro. What did I say in the intro? I don't remember saying anything in the intro. Um, yeah, I didn't say anything bad in the intro. Uh, but, Rudy, I could probably tell you how to cook those bugs to make them tasty. Uh, well, I'm not really interested in them being anything but gone, to be quite frank with you. Uh, use some tempura butter eggs and flavor them. Unfortunately, that's not an option that I get. Uh, sadly, uh, but even if they was, it doesn't really make it any better for my brain or my existence. Uh, it's still terrible. Rudai is breaded confirmed. Um, I do got a big brain. I do got a big brain. Did you miss anything good? No, JT. Uh, just an entire episode of awesomeness. That's all. Uh, not big, but smooth. Just big. Rakita says you're mostly moldy breaded. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of felt, I made some felt frog abominations. I'm assuming you mean AI art. Um, I'm sure someone other than a rude eye will help me. No, nobody's going to help you, Chrysanth. You're going to be trapped forever. Forever. Um, make me blue, sir. I don't know what that means. Uh, like black and blue? Uh, if not cooked and seasoned, it will probably taste kind of bitter. Um, I mean, I know it's not going to taste good. Listen, it's not a matter of taste, okay? It's what I'm eating. All right, I don't care what way you prepare it. I don't want to eat it. Uh, I don't know if you're understanding. Uh, you were talking about how Jeremy gave control to Sevi, and she's, uh, she's such a, I don't know what I said. You have to remind me. I, I don't remember saying that she was such a anything. Um, <laughs> oh, you want that? Sorry. That's for mods and core geeks and gamers identifiable crew only. Um... And that was a Jeremy instruction. I really only wanted it to be for mods. Uh, he wants to be a wrench, I think. Okay, yeah, I figured that out after he set it up above. Um, make, make gate savage a gay mod. Um, if there was a rainbow wrench, I would give it to him. Unfortunately, there's not. Um, all right. Well, that's been a lot of fun. Um, what the heck is Sevi laughing about at me in DMs? She's not even here. How does she get to laugh at me and she's not even here? I'll tell you what, that woman, I swear to God. Uh, oh, Gay T. Gay T. It took me a second to, to put that together in my head. Gay T said... <laughs> Gay T. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. 
you guys are you but you're a bunch of chat bastards you know that hey you know what speaking of chat bastards um i know you guys think that this cult of everything is going somewhere it's not it's a meme that's gonna die it's gonna die like a beaten horse and uh the merch, I mean, it's not even funny. The quality's good, but it's not funny. I'm going to be putting out some Chat Bastard merch, which is going to be so much better. So superior to uh, to that. And also, also, uh, you guys will be excited to know that uh, on last Tuesday night's main event, when Sevi was on there, uh, there were some super chats that went through asking about the merch. Um, and Jeremy perked up at that and actually sounded like he wanted uh, to do some tabletop merch. So you might finally get your wish. You might have some tabletop merch coming in the future officially through the Geeks of Gamers core channel. Um, so lots of really cool things coming up in terms of merch. So the Chat Bastards line is on its way. And I guess there's supposedly a second um, run of uh, the Cult of Sevi stuff coming out too. Uh, God, I hate that promo code. Freaking end the Fed. I hate it so much. Uh, but yeah, the Chat Bastards is going to be really fun. I uh, got a cool uh, logo pulled up for that, and we're going to make some fun merch out of it. Um, I think that's all I got. And uh, remember, Aliens this Saturday, guys. Aliens is going to be a blast. And then next Friday, you're going to see our first ever interview here on Tabletop. We're going to be bringing on Grums. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, uh, CEO, worked on a lot of games um, that you would probably recognize if you went and looked at the titles, and has had a lot to say about the woke rot pervading the in industry, both on video games and tabletop all around. We're going to talk to him about that and uh, get some key industry insights um, from somebody who's been there at the top. Um, wh what did I just get sprayed for? I don't even know what I just got sprayed for. What did I get sprayed for? I didn't even make a bad joke or a sexual joke. I didn't even do a mortism. I don't know what I got sprayed for in this one. Genuinely, what did I do to get sprayed? Did I make any? Uh, no, I don't think I made any. Uh... I don't know why you're spraying me, Michaela. I was being well behaved. Go away, Chrysanth. I hate you. Um. Damn. You made me lose my... You derailed my train of thought with those water bottles, Michaela. Um, yeah, Grums is also on Tuesday's night's main event for a little bit, but this will be our first interview on the channel, so it's a big deal for us. That's a big get for us, uh, bringing him on. Uh, so that's going to be... It's going to be some good times. It's going to be some good times. Uh, the Wake Up Fuckable merch has not... Uh, well, I need... Uh, I need to release the second version of that. I think people were more interested in that. The Wake Up Fuckable hasn't done that great. But um, the uh, we're going to try the alternate version, the Wake Up Unfuckable. Apparently that was funnier to people. And we'll see if that does a little bit better. We'll see if that does a little bit better. <laughs> Donkey Caravan of Thought? Oh, that's fucked up. It's accurate, though. Um, look, it's a big brain, which means there's a lot of mileage to traverse for those donkeys. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right. Well, uh, with that, we're going to go and close to the end of the stream, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for your generous support today. And uh, hey, I'll see you later tonight for March of the Dragon Queen. Bye, guys.